What is that? Oh, 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 oh go ahead, Vincent. Okay, no, guessing. Um, no, it was um, a comic that did uh, fairly adult, so I can't repeat any of his jokes. But he was a little person. A little person. Yeah. With leprechaun? a foul mouth? Leprechaun. Huh? <laughs> Not a leprechaun, but just no, a little. No, that, that's the wee folk. He did. He did do jokes about his uh, stature and everything, and and uh, he did a joke about oh, everyone, uh, everyone compared him to the uh, little person from Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. That got that got a laugh out of me. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Is that because I've only... never really, I've never really seen Game of Thrones, but I do know. Um, uh, one actor in there. He's he's a little person. So, so Peter Dinklage it? playing. Ch yeah, Peter, Peter Dinklage. Dinklage. Yeah, Peter Dinklage. Yeah. Hey, so, somebody yeah. might have a category in that tonight. You better watch out. Uh, oh, Game of Thrones. We haven't had that, so who knows? Any reasonable what? human has a man crush on Peter Dinklage. <laughs> who is this guy? <laughs> he is awesome. Peter Dinklage. Oh yeah. Does he have a dinkly? Does cool. he have a dinky? <laughs> what is? You're he might because he's uh, a small person. Oh, oh well, hello, no, well, I think it's just that size of legs and arms. It doesn't affect it's everything. Faith, else. are we talking from experience? No, we are not talking from experience. <laughs> we're talking about things that we have read on the internet. Oh, well, we know uh, what's on the internet. Explaining. Did you read it on? Did you read it on uh, Wikipedia? <laughs> yeah, Wikipedia. <laughs> Y'all are being very ableist right now. Wikipedia in this case. <laughs> very ableist. I'm disappointed. Oh, sorry. How is Faith and Romero doing, by the way? Good. Tired. tired. He's doing Iron Man training. Oh. And what? Was, what? What? Is that to teach you how to use the suit properly? Yeah. <laughs> I mean. Well, if you do it, Rob. Oh, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna, almost we're gonna, right there. We're gonna be, he's got a race in Idaho, and we're gonna go up and visit Adrian Definitely got after his race because we're gonna go up to the <laughs> I love it. Leonard is like, he, All right, is it coming out of his nose? Oh, Hold on a second. What's going on? <laughs> hey, Leonard. <laughs> we're making a <laughs> yeah, so We almost killed cousin. Leonard. <laughs> I love it. I'm glad we were recording it at that moment. That's viral right there. I love it. Okay, so it looks like it's in my house thing, there for a second. Speaking of viral things, have you seen the AI generated photos of Trump being arrested? Yes. <laughs> I saw They're like Renaissance paintings. No. Oh, no. It's accidental Renaissance. Ooh, that might He be. even retweeted one of himself praying, according to Romero. Well, at least it's not Wikipedia you're quoting now. Uh, Romero's a little more accurate. <laughs> <laughs> he's, a little, he's a little more trustworthy. I would think he does AI from another. So that's funny. That's good. Hey, did you guys all see uh, the webinar thing that uh, CFI and I did on uh, marketing outside your choir? No. No. I haven't watched it yet, but I've got it bookmarked. Okay. You guys got to watch that because, you know, like Dunning here, he went and did like the, the whole <laughs> world here, United States, everywhere his his Tesla would drive, everywhere it drove him <laughs> a couple of years ago. And he really would have benefited from, from you guys having this webinar thing we did. So what Brian, what, what I'm doing with CFI is um, we're trying to get the grips back together again so that, you know, for obvious reasons, but what we did is we put together four people, I was one of them, and we talked about how to market your small group talks, the talks, not virtual talks, but in-person talks beyond the choir. Because a lot of groups, what they do is they'll put out like a meetup and they'll put up a, a Facebook and they stop at that thinking they've invited people. And then the crowds are so small. So what we did is we put together a whole a whole hour of how to market beyond those people and get the events to be, hey, there's so-and-so in town, come and see this freaking lecture or whatever, you know. So anyway, so it just, it just yeah, when, I, when I did that trip, um, you know, I announced it on the podcast and people who listen to the podcast then would go out and say, hey, do we have any groups? Am I a member of any group that would be interested in this? And 
only a only a few of them were skeptic related groups. It was mostly people who belonged to their local um, their local movie theater nonprofit. Their um, one was an electric car group. Um, I mean, there's just all these diverse groups that people belonged to. And so I came and I spoke to groups that I never would have uh, run into otherwise. But how did, how did, how did like the electric car group know that you're going to be in the area unless there are well, someone different... happened to be a listener? Oh, so that listener recommended you to. Yeah. The... And then two oh. or three of them were, were members of whatever their, their local nonprofit art deco theater in their town was. And so I would go and show one of the movies there. Um, okay, hey, that's getting so, outside yeah, it, of the choir, mostly, right? It was mostly reaching new audiences. Perfect. Because, you know, what we're trying to do is just trying to get, you know, we're going to get these groups back and we need to grow them. And and we were talking before you got here, all about you, by the way. But before that, before we were recording, we were talking about the Seattle skeptics and how they've been trying to tell me, you know, we really got to get a younger group here. We got to really got to get this young group. So where do we find these young people? And I said, well, we're trying to get um, Kenny Biddle to go out and Kenny Biddle's an ex-ghost hunter. So I said, if you market it outside of your choir as a ghost hunter kind of thing, I think you might have, and, and really push that avenue. I think you'll attract a whole group of people who would be younger because they're, you know. TikTok. You know, Kenny's like 55. He's like 10 years older than he looks. He's 51. 50, but he, he appears <laughs> to be like 20 something and he acts like 16. 16. Yeah. So, no, 21, he drinks. But I, but exactly, he's got yeah, that. I don't know any 16 to 18 year olds that drink. Well, not in public, like in like on camera and stuff like that. I don't know. Litter's got a tickle in him. What's going on, Litter? Where are you at, by the way? Is that Priva behind you? We can't see. We can't hear anything. Is he laughing because Priva's there? Or is it something it's, for actually? It, yes, it's Priva behind me. Wait, Where... Priva, can you wave? Yeah, Priva waved. Where are you um, at? That's one of those sophisticated I'm in, I'm in Las Vegas. Background. You're in Vegas. What the hell are you doing in Vegas? Uh, believe it or not, we came to Vegas to babysit our grandkids. And instead, we're sitting in a hotel room zooming. <laughs> <laughs> Did you bring your quilting that. stuff with you, Priva? Um, Just spread you, it out. You were asked if you uh, brought your quilting stuff. She's doing some sewing. Yes. Tell her. Tell her to spread it out on the bed with all the pins and everything in it. I think that's a great yeah, that's, idea. That's a great idea. Tell her. <laughs> if she's doing English paper piecing that glues stuff, so then no, it she, might be she's, safe. She's, she's doing some hand sewing of a postage stamp quilt. Oh, we'll see that on her Facebook page later. We love your posts, right? Priva. They love your posts. So I, I'm I'm listening through these things. So she can't hear. Oh, but she she's going to get all into these questions tonight, isn't she? Uh, I don't think My so. My category she's, is not she's about got a book club. Oh, damn. That's all right. That's okay. Yeah, I'm into fabric cording now. That's oh. my problem. Really? Yeah. You've got a whole room to experience all the new stuff you want. Yeah. I keep getting reminded I need to make pajama pants for somebody. Wheel, fire, math, and chemistry. What's that? Oh, the uh, categories? Yep. It's down to those four. That's a new band. I haven't looked at this in ages yet. It's yeah, since last, last Thursday. I didn't look at it since last Thursday, but I just looked at it now. and, and I like actually... it, it just got so basic. No, I haven't talked to Todd. Uh, we, we, we were saying it's going to be down to wheel and fire, so it's almost there. That's that's fine. Oh, well. So, hello, Jane. Oh, well, they have more rounds. Everything okay over there? Your power has been on and everything? Yeah, we didn't uh, blow away. We're still here. How's the frogs? Uh, the frogs are very happy. Our pond is getting very full. Of frogs? Well, <laughs> and water. Do they sing to you? Oh, they do. They love it. <laughs> they didn't sing um, gay, did they? I remember... Nobody um, understands what that's referenced to. He's got frogs in her... In her right outside she's in the she shed you guys she's uh, she's in a she shed and in her she shed she's got a pond outside and then outside there there's frogs 
not just in Quebec. They're happy frogs. <laughs> Do they They're sing in tune? Frogs, yeah. Do they sing in tune? Um, for you? Uh, yeah, they do. Yeah. In, in unison, yes. <laughs> That's yeah, there's funny. This, uh, there's this little uh, low point on this on Nose Hill in Calgary, you, uh, uh, where uh, most most years there's uh, uh, there's a pond for part of for. Uh, for part of the year, uh -huh. and uh, and uh, and and I tend and and uh, come come there at the right time, and I hear and I hear the frogs croaking. And hardly ever see anything. but uh, but but one year, but one year that the, the uh, at least there there was at least one year where it just didn't get water in it at all, and I went, "Gee, am I ever going to hear the frogs again?" But then uh, then we got a week of rain during stampede week <laughs> and, oh. uh, and, uh, and then uh, and then I come up there and well the frogs are just fro frogs are just fine croaking away I guess they just uh, uh, um, hit on, hit in the dry mud uh, in, in, until they, f they felt some water <laughs> I need to get in there be I need to say this before Vincent did and ask this question. Did they croak? <laughs> oh, jeez. I had to ask that before Vincent did have a chance to do it. So, no, hi, Paul. Hi, Lynn. How are, How are you guys? How did that? Uh, haven't seen you in a while. Put, change your screen name. Uh, we can't figure out how to do that. Oh, my goodness. We're going to have a class. Here, I'll do it. We need a class. Yes. And it's L-Y-N-N, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, I, can, I can make... I can make up Maybe your first spelling. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Which I spelled it right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Looks good. On my screen, you're opposite. So right now, okay. it's on my left and Paul's on my right. Okay. But yeah, on your okay. screen, okay. it's the other way around, right? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're doing the mirror image yeah. thing here, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So I want to have it so that I don't want to call Paul Lynn and I don't want to call Lynn Paul. <laughs> well, we're, we're flexible. We don't care. <laughs> Nice. Hollywood Squares. That's good. Hollywood Squares, yeah. So you're spreading out. Everything okay down there, down south there, Lynn and Paul? Paul and Lynn, Lynn and Paul? Yeah. We've been camping for we the last four years. We had a small motorhome. We took it to a site near the beach. And, of course, it rained almost the entire time. Oh, <laughs> man. But we did discover our motorhome leaks, so that was a good thing. Oh, <laughs> I'd rather it didn't fix. leak, but <laughs> well, at least we know it's leaking, so we can. Is it easy it. to fix, or is it like coming through a seal or something? Well, yeah, yeah. I, I have some logical suspects, but it's hard to be sure until the next torrential downpour. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's sad. Yeah. So you could just so you're gonna so so is Paul volunteering to sleep in the. And the thing outside of the next rain, so he could find it since he has the suspects. Yes, I have volunteered him for that. <laughs> well, we might, might try it out. We'll test it out with a garden hose. That's another idea. Oh, oh, okay. Because oh, it might not rain here for a long, long time. So we don't take anything for granted. Yeah. Well, you know, it might be it might be months, it might be years. Yeah. You know, it, I, I know I'm in California too. We had rain, a lot of rain, and now it's not anything here, but you know. I don't know. Oh, what time is it? Almost time. We ready? Alan. Hello. Hello, Alan. Say hi Kevin, to you. Is Kevin doing a category today? Hi, Gail. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm here. Hi, Kevin. Hi, everybody. Hi, Bill. Hi. Hi, Caspian. Where's my boy? Isn't he great? <laughs> <He's trying. laughs> All right. Yeah. So oh, how about, Jeanine, let me let her in. You, you better so be I, really you better be really good to Caspian. Have you seen what's going on for the first time? Parents of a child, an adult child, might be uh, prosecuted for what the child did. So what? I hope Caspian's a good guy. What are you talking about? The Murdochs or what? No. Yeah. The shooter. Yeah. No, I don't know what you're talking the about. The Ubalid parents of the shooter. Yeah. They're going the to six pop, year old. Been, be, yeah. This is the United States. You need to be more specific about the shooter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's sad. They're being prosecuted because they provided a gun to their child even after they knew he was a had issues and would be at risk. Is that the one that shot his teacher? Yeah. And what's is that Colorado? No, that was Virginia. 
Oh my gosh. So they're going to prosecute. That didn't make any sense to me at all. The mother said, oh, well, we have a gun, but I keep it unloaded at the top of the closet <laughs> where he can't get it. And she yeah, kept they, being they, adamant they, about they, it. They and you're like, but they him again. wait, wait. She's like, there's no way he could have gotten it. It's just like the psychic stuff, you know, like there's no way they could know. That's like the active shooter situation we had a couple months back. That That's why the parents haven't said anything. It's because mm -hmm. how did your 15 year old son get hold of the firearms that you bought? Yeah, if it's, if it's safely people. put away unloaded, how did they get them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, it is kind of suspicious, isn't it? Um, I have easy access to firearms. Oh, I yeah? No, I don't. <laughs> I do. I wouldn't be worried if you did, Vincent. Yeah. <laughs> well, he is, in, he is kind of far away. Well, uh, uh, my, and my BB gun has a GWS sticker on it. No, G GSOW sticker on it. GSOW sticker on it. <laughs> That's funny. They have, um, uh, Janine keeps it around so her husband can shoot the rats. <laughs> No, mm -hmm. he didn't use a BB gun to shoot the rat. Oh, he, he used a real gun? No. Yeah. He has a BB gun to shoot the politicians? <laughs> I have the BB gun to shoot the starlings. He has oh. a real gun to shoot the rats. <laughs> I'm moving you guys around real quick here. So I have, uh, Carolyn's up first, right? Gail's up second. Who's, who's loud? I can't tell. It's Kevin. Kevin? Where is he? Okay, I muted him. Um, three is Faith, correct? And Kevin, your fourth. Is Kevin's background a hint as to what today's category is? Oh, God, is? please, no lighthouses. Ooh, he does that all the time. <laughs> and Carl is, I think he does it to, to annoy us. psychic torture. And Carl, you're fifth, right? You all know that. And I only have Rob for next week. So um, if you want to be on it, remind me, and I will I will fix that in a minute. Let me see. Let's just have Rob do them all again. No, he did a good job last week. He sure did. Yes. Um. If I was going to have a, have a category and, uh, and and use my background, is it? Gee, it, that my, my background would have to be something like that. My my category would have to be something on like mountains near Calgary or something, which nobody would. It could be photography. Yeah. It could be rocks. Yeah. Just general mountains. Geology. Mountains, highest mountains, lowest mountains, uh, mountains in China, mountains in. See, we're getting too good at this, you guys. Okay, I'm just making sure I've got these evenly <laughs> distributed here. Hold did second. you let Brian Dunning in? I know somebody did. <laughs> somebody let Brian Dunning in. Hi, Why Brian. I'm in trouble. I'm nice. <laughs> That's what they it's, say. It's not just Brian Dunning, it's Brian Dunning from skeptoid.com. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. I'm so glad that, I'm recording this letter. That's the one that I'm concerned about. <laughs> Okay, so I'm putting you in your rooms. Go, and I will deal with the other stuff I have to do while you're away. So hurry up. Come back. Quick, quick. Pronto. Be nice to each other. Be good. Wear your mask. You know, be good people. I know you're good people. I forgot to hit the recording thing. You guys got to make sure we're recording because, you know, when Netflix is calling, when Hollywood calls for us, we need to have everything recorded. Right, right, y'all? What was that? When Hollywood calls, we need to not, I, I didn't hit play. I mean, it didn't record fast enough. So we need it it's going to be a little bit posterity. missing. Is that why you called us back so fast? I missed you guys. You need oh, Tyler. Fans. Our wow. fans. Tyler Henry in here. Well, what's there the was no problem. Tyler, what's, the, what's the story with Can someone uh, else you... announce, announce our team name? I have to take a call. She's taking. I got it. I got she's it. Very, Put it very back very when you're done. <laughs> hey, Susan. Yes. Did you know that using the American notation, today's date is a palindrome? Mm. I did. Mm. Three, two, uh, I see three, that. Three, two, three, oh, two, three. Somebody mentioned that on Facebook. I, was that Carolyn? I thought I saw somebody say happy. Three, two, three, two, three. No, uh, no, mine was the other day. Leave out three, two, one, two, three. 
Oh yeah, I did three, see it. Two three, two three. And do you know December thirty first of this year would be one two three three uh one two three one two three one two three. Mm. Whoa, what does it mean, man? Oh no! Yeah. What's that gonna do? I don't know. The it'll numerology. Let's find the numerologist. It'll it'll make for really good sound checks. Hey, if that's your birthday, one, that's going to be your claim to fame for the rest of your life. I knew somebody Hi, my name is Joey, and my birthday is my one of one, my two, three, two, three, two, oh, somebody two, three. I went to high school with. They they were interviewed for the paper because their son was born 12, 13, 14. <laughs> the paper. And you know how late Very is it that poor kid? Month. Yeah, that is your only <laughs> claim to fame. That is. They, they just found it interesting that you were born December thirteenth of two thousand fourteen, and mm. they're, now their child is almost ten, and I need to go cry in a corner. <laughs> I'm realizing how old I am, and I don't like it. Well, just hey, hey, on the hey, news, hey, it's better. Did I'm, you say? I'm, I'm, on, Faith, say, on, on TikTok, Faith, I saw, I was looking at those face filter things that everybody's raving about, makes you so uh -huh. young. They had some 22 year old woman. She's looking at, she looked at a picture of herself when she looked 17 and she started crying. Have, now, have you seen? I'm have like, you give me up, a freaking break, little girl. Have you ended up on Jasper the doll on TikTok? I'll write it down. You, you need to end up on Jasper the doll. Just, just, she's. She's my thing. Yeah, well, in, on, in the news in 1978, uh, Peter Jennings, I think, or whoever it was, announced that if you looked at your digital clock today, twice it said one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Hmm. All right, so everybody, so how does this make you feel? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Thank Mom. you. Thanks, Rob. Thanks for that, Rob. Yeah. Yeah. What a downer you are. Wait, okay, so let's uh -oh. let's get to the team names. We have wait, what's that on your shoulder, Alan? Ooh, that is creepy. Oh, look like something crawling over the top of his shoulder, something red. Put your go like that again. It's You're something eating in the something. background. You just were eating something. Yeah, and then I mean, eating Twizzlers. What do you want? And then there's something red crawling over your shoulder, and then you had the Twizzlers, so it looked like some kind of alien or something was coming out of your. No, I can't see the Twizzlers, but it was the sticky things and the red thing behind. Oh, never mind. Right. It had to be there. Hang on. I, I, I'll be right back. I got to take a look. <laughs> I'm just gonna put on a mask now. Put on a bloody mask. That was the last time we saw Alan in a horror movie. Well, good thing we're recording this. He can go back and watch the video. You guys, all can watch the video later. Like, out of the corner face. of my eye, I swear mm -hmm. there was something crawling over. No, I saw head. something too. It was a red thing over his shoulder. It was like no, crawling was, out. That it was attacking him, and then it, it went was a in combination his mouth. of that and the ghost and the psychic. Yeah, probably. All right, so here we go. I want to know some team names. Bob, Dunning, Carolyn, Jim, and Vincent. What is your team name tonight? So I already have it in chat. Is that what it is? I already a, have it in chat? No. no, no, no. <laughs> Two Canadians, oh my. Yeah. That's the best you could come up with? Well, you put both. Jim and I in the same team. So it was like, well, two Canadians. I'm falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> no yeah. pressure, Rocky anybody. Roller. What if I add another person to your team? Or what if you lose a Canadian? Yeah. Yeah. You're going to lose two Canadians. After. Well, then oh, let's right. get on it. All right. All right. Okay. Bill, Gail, Karen, Leonard, and Terry. Who are you All guys right. tonight? We are. We are. We are Dormy Daniels to the rescue. <laughs> uh, maybe. Wouldn't that be the funniest thing in the world if she was the one that... I think that was the name of one of her films, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you would know her huh, from personal experience. I'm, 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 she somebody seems to know me. everything about this kind of stuff. <laughs> Just what? What? I, I'm sorry. I was looking at Jasper talk. What? That's all right. Um, Doug McKenzie. You'll have to look it up. Okay, Alan, Ben, Faith, and Romero, and Jane from Oregon. I tried to cook dinner, but my broiler went boom. Ooh. But slightly better than the two Canadians. Slightly. <laughs> How dare you? 
Some yeah, people well, spend all coffee. spend the whole week coming up with the next uh, team name. I know Caspian always does. So we just this relied was on a very Alan personal experience oh, that happened to Alan. So I did. I did think about it. Yeah. Said, oh, okay. Good. Thank you. All right. Next up. Janine, Kevin, Kyle, Lynn, and Paul, and Ron, do you have something a little more entertaining? <laughs> no. <laughs> you didn't give us enough time. Exactly. To be Maybe honest. Come, up come with on, man. You had two premature evacuation from the breakout rooms, and this is what you get. <laughs> yeah. You get to be as satisfied as we are with our two minutes. <laughs> I, I hate premature evacuation. We plead for more time. <laughs> That's slightly better. Slightly yeah. better. All right, where's Zeke's so I can have Sagan pick the winning team name tonight? That'd be fun. All right, so no pressure or anything, yes. but Caspian, Jane in or um California, Carl, Rob, and Troy. All right, you want the wittiest nick team name for the night? All right. You put Brian Dunning's face on a gold coin, you'd have a Dunning Kruger hand. You'd have a Dunning oh. There you go. If you Kruger. put Brian Dunning's face on a gold coin, you'd have a Dunning. I don't know what a cougar is. Cougar end of the South, South African, African gold coin. Gold coin, yeah. yeah. It's a gold oh, God, he's going to say that on his Kruger. podcast or something now. It's the new intro. <laughs> from Dunning Kruger end. We've, we've only been through this. Even only if you put your face podcast. on a gold coin. Onto the podcast at the gold level, become a bright Dunning Kruger end. <laughs> That's actually kind of clever. Can they, can we can sell like those that. in the store. Yeah, you could. You could mint those coins, Brian <laughs> Dunning Kruger. Hey, Somebody Kevin, my, design my it right now. For you. Okay, so here we go. Today. Oh, I gotta get uh, all right. So today, game 153, season three, episode. 44 oh my gosh 44 in the third year we're getting close to the next season four oh my gosh so we have five teams five teams that are going to compete on this march 23rd 2023 something weird about the numbers of the, uh, the things if you're american because we're weird we have this thing here in america we I don't know so the five teams, let's see if you guys can, all those people out there in YouTube land. Hello, all you people out there watching. Hello. Yes, thank hello. you. Um, yeah, both, both of them. <laughs> <laughs> hello, all of you. I want you to know that we have five teams competing for the championship of, <laughs> of uh, game 153, whatever that means. Yes, thank you, Kevin. That's a good coin. That's a Gerbic Kugaran. <laughs> Queen of, Wiki, Queen, Queen of Wiki, it says on it. <laughs> it does. Uh, so the two, five teams that are competing are two Canadians. Oh, my. Was that it? Wasn't it longer? No. That was it. It just felt uh, longer. Lions and tigers and bears and two Cam Canadians. Two oh Canadians. Oh, my. Versus Fermi Daniels to the rescue. Versus I tried to cook dinner, but my broiler went boom. Versus we plead for more time versus if you put Brian Dunning's face on a gold coin, you'll have a Dunning Krugerin. 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 I had another word. Oh, man, you guys. That Susan yes. can't get We've, we played yes. too many Someone games, but this is the best that, we can come up choice. with. You struck gold with that choice. Uh, it's it's clever. Oh, it's clever. Expertise. Yeah, and I I kind of like the Stormy Daniels one because it just makes me feel inspired. You know, <laughs> take him out would be really hilarious if that was it. E. Jean Carroll and him that'd be. But, you know, if he does get convicted, we can all plead for more time. <laughs> That's fine. exactly mm, like what it. we've been thinking. Okay, okay, that that's making me warm to that one a little bit, but the yeah. <laughs> but the two Canadians and the dinner you guys come on you're scraping the barrels get on it next week i want some i want some you know, give us give us more time and you were supposed to have these have thought out stuff. they didn't take them long to come up with the brian dugger cougar Ridman. this thing all devours the brian degree do <laughs> that's great so I, our I first stop tonight they didn't like it what was it 
We're being robbed. We should have used this last week. <laughs> when Rob was renting all the categories, that would have been great. Yes, it was funny, but it would have been funnier last week. Yeah. So you're a little slow there, Rob. Non sequitur this week. Yeah, but you didn't tell show. Rob's doing that's the whole categories show. again. Like, I told oh. you to save it for next time. <laughs> Now everybody's gonna pick it next no, time. Bob has all the categories. There now. That would be fine. No, yeah. If right. if you look back to the first time there was an all Rob round, you'll find that one of the teams had that for their name. Yeah, that makes sense. I was gonna say I thought I uh, remember that before. We've been robbed. You think I remember anything? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My team name was you're addicted to Rob. He's Might got chicken. Well you're addicted to Rob. I think we should make a There's trivia snubbing. category about old team names. Mm. Oh my gosh! Which of the following? Yeah, make a list. Oh, you know, I've uh, got an okay. awful lot of them Which on a the spreadsheet that you guys all have access to. Just saying. All right, so here we go. We're going to start tonight. Tonight, my unconventional conventionalist with Carolyn, who's going to be doing a round. It's been a while since Carolyn's done a round, so be nice. Carolyn's Carolyn. never done a round, so Carolyn's nervous. So you have to be nice. Uh, to oh no, really? You haven't done one? No. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, you guys, you know what you have to do? You have to be extra polite. Yes. Who, right? who, did, who did you send your questions into? What is that look yeah. like? Review? She didn't because I don't oh. remember. Oh, oh so I she's didn't not wrong. Somebody <laughs> hold Rob back. <laughs> <laughs> Followed by Gail, who's who's obviously done this a bunch of times. She knows her, her how to do this. Followed by Faith, which means that Gail and Faith and Kevin, who's the fourth round and, and bonus is Carl, you can let them have it. Just be nice to Carolyn. <laughs> <laughs> come on but the rest on, I'm ready. they're free game they are free game like those chickens run around bob's house all right so carolyn you already have your your um controls who's going to be my muter oh let me do that how do i have controls okay i have given controls? you controls okay rob robert who's the mutant it's going to be robert i am mutator first to yell i am the mutator me. all right carolyn what's our category tonight it is a the mystery mutant. theme Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Muting all. I remember to unmute yourself, Carla. Three, two, one. Okay. So can we all hear me? Yep. All righty. So this song. What? Hear what? <laughs> this song. I told you to be nice. Seriously. This Jeez. song was originally performed by Wilson Pickett. And released in 1965 on his album of the same name. It reached number one on the R&B charts and peaked at number 21 on the pop charts. Other musical acts included Bruce Springsteen, Tina Turner, Turner, The Grateful Dead, and Genesis frequently performed the song in their live sets. It was on the soundtrack for the 1991 film The Commitments. Okay. So I have to I have to state the Janine rule. I'm, so I'm doing I'm trying post it while you're so we can read it with you okay forever known as the Janine the the Janine. Janine okay cool. all right Lily Joel also did that song Janine, Janine rule okay Janine, Janine oh sorry number two this book is a collection of novellas written by the master of horror and published in August 1990. It is his second book of this type, the first one being Different Seasons. It includes four novellas, The Langoliers, Secret Window, Secret Garden, The Library Policeman, and The Sun Dog. It won the Bram Stoker Award in 1990 for Best Collection. Perhaps you didn't make it clear, Susan, what the Janine rule is. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I thought I pushed. Sorry. Just keep. She's getting there. She's nervous. Leave her alone. Don't freak her out, Rob. Calm I, down. I, somebody, I, somebody, I, I wait. Are you, are you asking, okay, Carolyn? Okay. Carolyn, are you asking the name of the book or author? The book. This book is a collection of novellas. Okay, it's a book. Got okay. it. <clears throat> Number three. This TV show typically featured guest hosts, and Wolfman Jack served as the announcer and frequent guest host. The program's theme song, a traditional folk song, was performed by Johnny Rivers. The show was noted for featuring musical acts performing live, which was unusual since most television appearances during the era 
showed performers lip syncing to pre recorded music. The series also featured occasional performances of comedians such as Richard Pryor, Andy Kaufman, and George Carlin. Very well done. Thank you. You had that perfect with a perfection of a Janine. Uh oh. oh. Crap on a stick. Hang on. I just lost number. Now one. that's a better team name. Yeah. <laughs> just oh. slightly. <laughs> Oh, I don't know what happened. I think I lost number four somehow. Click undo. Control Z. On a Mac? Yeah, it might be different on a Mac, but I don't know. Sometimes they use the same shortcuts. Oh, no. All right, Command Z on uh, Mac. What, what are you copying it from, Carl? A word. Um, so close the file and don't hit yes when okay, I ask you to save wait, it wait, and then wait, open wait, it again. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Yeah, Command Z for a Mac is the same as Control Z on a PC. You know I'm shaking here, right? Okay. You're doing just fine. Carolyn. Nobody's going to okay. come and get you, Carolyn, I promise. Did it come through now? Oh, I, I moved my screen. I'll be back. Not yet. Computer's rebooting. Bye. Be back. Okay. Nope. Okay. Hit enter. I am, and I don't know. There it is. Da, 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 okay. You got it. This movie tells of the story of Joe Buck, who, convinced of his irresistible appeal to women, the Texas dishwasher quits his job and heads for New York City, thinking he'll latch on to some rich dowager. New York, however, is not as hospitable as he imagined, and Joe soon finds himself living in an abandoned building with Enrico Razzo Rizzo. The two form a rough alliance, and together they kickstart Joe's hustling career. Hmm. Number five. Okay. It just seems it doesn't want to do things for me. I don't know why. A lot of people tell me that they this is the most frustrating part is getting them into the chat. Well, the weird thing is I'm copying it. It says it's copying, and then it does weird things that I don't understand when I get it, try and get it over to the chat. Okay. Got it. Number five. Is it up there? Yep. The yep. book is a nonfiction. This book is a nonfiction novel by John Berent. The book, set in Savannah, Georgia, was published in 1994 and follows the story of an antiques dealer on trial for the murder of a male prostitute. It was later made into a movie in 1997, directed by Clint Eastwood. Uh, hmm. Number six, in Western Christian tradition, blank blank refers to the first liturgy of Christmas, Christmas tide and is traditionally celebrated the night of Christmas Eve to honor the nativity of Jesus. Hmm. And now Kat's attacking me. Just, just make this even better. Okay. Number seven, this movie is a 1988 American road comedy starring Robert De Niro and Charles Gruden. The plot involves Jack Walsh, a bounty hunter who is enlisted by a bail, bond, bail bondsman to bring accountant Jonathan the Duke Markadus back to Los Angeles. At the 46th Golden Globe Awards, the film was nominated for Best Motion Picture, Musical or Comedy, and Best Actor for De Niro. Number eight, this TV series premiered on Netflix in October 2022. A group of eight close terminally ill young adults resides in the Brightcliff Home Hospice outside of Seattle run by an enigmatic doctor. They meet every night to tell each other scary stories. They have a pact that the first one to succumb to their disease is responsible for communicating with the others from beyond the grave. Through Thomas John? Probably. Hello, Henry. Why is this not doing it? Come on. 
I'm sending all the questions over to Robin right now. Okay, number nine. This song is by the American rock band, the Allman Brothers Band. It was the second single from their second studio album, Idlewild South, 1970. The song was primarily written by vocalist Greg Allman, who first began composing it at a rented cabin outside of Macon, Georgia. It uses traditional folk and blues themes of desperation, determination, and a man on the run. A man, not a band, a man. This U.S. state is a, is a semi-exclave of the U.S. and is the largest by area as well as the northernmost of the states. What is its nickname? Hey, okay. this is a mystery, y'all. Mystery, mystery theme. Mystery theme. Not all right, I sent you, um, I, Robin, you should have all of the questions. I hope. Okay, so Susan, mm -hmm. how do I bounce around? um to different breakout rooms Where's so you're going to go to where it says um there should be down at the very bottom it should say breakout rooms okay okay when you click on right. that it should say join to the right of each room okay so you should be able to just hop around and have fun. And how, how do I give that two minute warning? Do I just tell you? Oh, come into whatever room I'm in, which will be one and, okay. and just remind me, or right. you can close the rooms. It's the same place, whatever you're comfortable. Have fun. This is yeah. really fun. Spend a lot of time in the room that is not one because yeah. I'm recording one. I'm gonna send Rob in there because I think that's gonna be the room that's gonna be missing people soonest. I need to go to room four. Four, that's right. Okay. Thank you. Number five is Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. Okay. Remember that? So I knew that one. That's the only one I knew. You guys are going way too fast. I Where... gave uh, I brought Robin well, here because I know you guys are going to lose people here quick. So Robin's let's Robin's go one at a time and see see what we know what we don't. Robin, know. they gave him the most lame name of the team. Okay. Number one, I had no idea. No idea for number one. You guys can see my screen, right? Yeah. Yeah. This yeah, th this song was originally performed, et cetera, et cetera. Wilson Pickett. Yeah. Uh, let's 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 breeze through them as quick as we can and write down the ones that we know, and then come back to the ones yeah, that we exactly. know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, tell me which one to go to. Well, we don't know one, so let's go to two. <laughs> Midnight nope. something. So the master of horror number two is probably Stephen King, would you say? Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah but what yeah. is the, the book? Yeah, Langoliers. What is the book called? No idea. Mid Midnight oh. something. Okay. Three, I think, is. I've Midnight never read Story. a single word by Stephen King. <laughs> oh, he's scary. I don't like scary. Think, okay, moving on. I think three is Midnight Special. You know. I have a feeling the theme is something that has to do with midnight. After midnight. Yep, midnight. midnight. Very good. Oh. Because Very I know good. number okay, five so. is the night has something to do with night. What is it called? The night of well, there's also the the, the night the so, so, whatever the lights went out in Georgia was maybe number one. Five, no, <clears throat> it's midnight. Number five is midnight in the garden of good and evil. Midnight run. Okay. In that case, six number six would be midnight yeah. mass, wouldn't it? Yeah. Midnight, midnight run, I think. Four is midnight okay. cowboy. Seven is midnight run. Good. Okay. Uh, yeah. do, do the people who are more familiar with the Western Christian tradition think that six is midnight mass? Ooh, good. Yes. Hey, yes. you guys are going too fast. That's right. Brian, down. what did you say? Yeah. Three was midnight special. Yeah, I didn't say that, but that sounds right to me. I can yeah. type quickly, so it's fine. Just let me get no, this. Don't type out midnight. Just put M and then the operative. It doesn't matter. Robin, you said you thought number one was what? You're on mute. You're on mute, Robin. Maybe you're asking her husband. I don't know. Seven is midnight run. 
night run. Okay. Yeah. Susan, is this how it works? If a person on our team is doing the questions, you join our team temporarily. I am your I am your team member for the okay. for this You're round. Okay. You're our pinch Got it. I'm not ever any help, but <laughs> <laughs> there's occasionally I'm a I'm a help. You guys are lucky. I know what number eight is. What is it? What is it? Um, uh, the the Midnight Club. Is it the Midnight Club? That sounded like a really cool show from. The i never heard of it <laughs> it really is he, he, it is and it seen, was and he said it so confidently so it must be right yeah. on the um this is a district of midnight i don't know nine what we know 10 fill that in yeah. land of the midnight sun yeah okay right okay 10 land of midnight sun land of m sun yeah. It's okay. Nine. I can type the whole word in. Don't worry okay, about it. Okay, so number nine is Almond Brothers Band. Uh, I just discovered it doesn't work if I try to scroll my mouse to go back up. <laughs> 1970. Midnight at so, the Oasis? Is that a theme? No, is that a song? Was, no, they didn't. Or is that just a lyric? That was no. That was a song. It was um, "Midnight Up Your Way." Yeah, yeah. It was um, Maria. What was her name? Yeah, I like that. Was a funny song. I think it was no, Maria Moldauer. Was Maria Bay. Moldauer. Moldauer. Yeah. Yeah. At the midnight yeah, special. Is that okay, a song? Okay, so number seventy. So I'm, I'm fifteen years old, but I don't know. I didn't know the Almond Brothers then. So nobody has a guest for nine. Nobody has oh, a guest. Oh, it's got for... midnight in it somewhere. Come on, you're smart people. You should know this. Yeah, number nine. Yeah. Hey, I got a buddy. Come on, man. Who's there? Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, I tried to do the same thing, Brian. I tried to scroll. <laughs> yeah, I've tried to pinch and zoom. Also, it doesn't help me. Vincent, what's? Oh, she, he's writing. Okay. Okay, so we're Brian, on number it. nine. Let me look at number nine. <laughs> So nine, you guess is midnight. Somebody guesses it's midnight special. No, uh, maybe. No, uh, higher three up is midnight is special. Three is, three is midnight special. Well, it oh, might, okay. they might oh. be the same. So nine okay. is not midnight special. It's something else. But if we if we can't come up with anything, you could put that in just as a guess. It's not also sure going to be three? midnight maybe special. Maybe we want to change midnight. number three to number nine. And no, the, no, midnight special is midnight. correct for number three. It was a show. <laughs> yes. There, there was a Creedence right. Clearwater revival song about that show. Oh really? Oh okay. So we have midnight special showing up twice. We don't know. A, midnight special is the one answer. We know it's not. Oh, Anything okay. else is more likely. There's an old blues song called Midnight Special, too, but I don't know. Who that is. Carolyn, help us out here. What do we say for <laughs> one and two? You want your team to win. We can't uh, yeah. see number one and two. Scroll back up. Oh, we don't have we don't have one and two. That's why we don't know. So pick it. Pick it. Wilson Pickett. Number two, we should just guess midnight stories, midnight tales. I mean, a, a guess is better it's than a song. One. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we get down. Or two. That. But we had a two minute countdown. We can start filling guesses in at the, at the two minutes. Tales. <laughs> like tales of the midnight. How's everybody doing, Carolyn? It looks like everybody's doing pretty, pretty good. Okay, do you think you need a two minutes or do you want to wait? Um, um, I think we could do two minutes because I it no, looks like no, not yet. Give us a minute. Okay, so, maybe uh, not. Uh, Hills of the Midnight Sun. Hills of the Midnight. The song after hmm? Midnight's got to be one of these. Yeah, that, number one. That'd be one. Oh, yeah. Okay, put it up. Yeah, after, after midnight. midnight. That's a fantastic yeah. guess. I like it. 
on number one? Yeah. yeah. I yeah. mean, that was Eric Clapton, but I don't, but it what seems it? like. What was it again? After Sorry? Midnight. After Midnight. <laughs> that yeah, seems other people... appropriate for a band named Grateful Dead. <laughs> okay, Carolyn, you can do the closing. So go over to the breakout rooms on the bottom right-hand side. It's going to say close all rooms in bright red. Uh, so anybody, anybody oh, guess for so four? Close all rooms? Yep. Okie dokie. And that gives a two-minute warning. Okie dokie. For what? Anybody got a guess for four? Good job. Four is Midnight Cowboy. Midnight this Cowboy, yeah. Oh. Yeah. That was not... Sorry, I'm... <laughs> I'm He's excited. You know, that Bob's down. a little competitive. I'm a it's little the bit... When do. the chickens are watching, he's a little competitive. Yeah, Mac, Mac showed Can I up. just go back to the main oh. room? No, you just stay hang out here. I'll just hang you can go back to the main room if you want, but yeah. I'll hang out. Hey, Max. How's it going, Max? Can we scroll down, make sure we have a guest for everything? What do we okay. guess? Yeah, we Carolyn, got something filled in for are, everything. Um, when the room closes, where you're going to bounce back to automatically Brian next time. Knows so you know, nine. Nine. Thank you. Extract yourself that. from that. Midnight. <laughs> we need number nine, you guys. Number oh. nine. And we didn't really agree on number two, did we? I'm, yeah. I'm going to be wild. I'm not sure that number two is right, and I'm not sure that number nine is right. What if we just put midnight special for both? I bet yeah. one of them is right, and one of them will be right. That's, yeah, yeah. yeah well, that, we got. Uh, let's see. We got three. We got I three as midnight that. special, right? Are we sure about that? I'm not. I'm eighty percent sure of it. So do we have a midnight or midnight or midnight stories, midnight tales for two? Yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah, it's a night shot in the dark. Tales of Midnight or Midnight Tales? Yeah. Somehow Midnight Tales sounds a bit spookier. Yeah. Tales at Midnight. Tell Midnight. Okay, we need we got uh, fifteen seconds for number nine. Come up with uh, any guess, anyone. That, and then we're gonna do Midnight Special. Okay, put Midnight Special for number nine. I did. We won't get them both right, but that. No. Yeah. Okay. No, there's no okay. rule that says they can't be have the same name. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. They never do. Well, so we're already muted by the time. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Good job, Carolyn. I figure in an hour and forty five minutes, I'll figure out what the category is. <laughs> I mean, it's not midnight. All right, Carolyn, go for it. Oh, Zoom is broken, stupid Zoom. You're on mute. I'm unmuting. Okay. Is it unmuted right. now? Yep, okay. you're good. Okay. You're good. Goody. All righty. So let me try and copy these and make everybody happy so i can put it before i read oh, nobody will ever you can't make us all happy so don't worry yeah for the, <laughs> for the for the answers you don't have to do that we haven't been doing that for the answers or deborah so, oh. jenny oh. never asked us for that oh. <laughs> oh all right in fact usually we just read them and, and then you make paste it the carol in the rule yeah okay. you, can read, you can read them and then paste them in at the end yeah that's fine okay and and i just want to say before you guys read off all the answers hold on a second Deborah's joining us. I'm waiting for Deborah to connect to audio. We'll put her on our team and ask her if they answer for the question too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really so quick, do you want uh, me to go ahead or, or what do you want? What do you want? I was just to... waiting for her to um oh, okay. to get to audio. What is one of the nicknames? Uh, good job, by the way. W Excellent Sierra. category. Thank you. How do you not know? Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Kevin? What is the nickname? One of the nicknames I don't remember what he did. So okay, here's Deborah. So Deborah is going to be up for play. For Johnny Midnight. Midnight, that's right. Yep. So so Deborah's up for play. So just keep that in mind, you guys. Oh. <laughs> Who gets Deborah is determined by the scores you guys give me. Well, well it, it definitely won't be us. Yeah, oh well, fine, Lottie. Yeah. Got to you two no, too. And no shaving. Okay. No shaving your score to get some. Yeah. Well, I would that's know. A dangerous thing to say. You got a, if you got a nine, say nine. Unless, unless you really went Deborah, I wouldn't get really excited about well, that. That's oh, cheating. You know. what, what? Well, <laughs> playing the game. All right. So, <laughs> go ahead, Carolyn. 
I'm sure I, as I saw, everybody got the theme right away. And um, so there's a little story before I go into this. So a couple of weeks ago was my birthday. And a couple of weeks before that was one of my favorite um, artists, George Harrison's birthday. And I learned that we had something in common. And that was we were both uh, born around midnight. Oh, so that, that's what gave me the inspiration for the mystery. Oh, that's clever. Okay. Oh, cool. How close to midnight were you, Carolyn? Was it, was it in the same time zone? Otherwise, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Well, no, he was in Liverpool and like yeah. many, many years before me. So <laughs> she looks Anyhow. great for her age. <laughs> Anyhow. Anyhow, I've aged greatly in the last 20 minutes. But anyway, <laughs> hey, you're done. You've gotten through most of it. And I don't think anybody can argue right. with you. So number one, this song is In the Midnight Hour. Oh, oh. oh. Number two, the book by Stephen King, Four Past Midnight. And that's four F-O-U-R? F-O-U-R, yeah. yeah, Four Past Midnight. Number three, the show is the Midnight Special. Thank you, Brian Denning. You were good for something. Number four, <laughs> the movie was the mid, or movie was Midnight Cowboy. Number five, the book was Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. Number the, six. The, the only one I knew was four, and I thought the theme was therefore going to be cowboy. <laughs> is Midnight Mass. Number seven, Midnight Run is the name of the movie. Number eight, the name of the show is The Midnight Club. Oh man, we got close with that. I figured if people, if people could like guess on that one if they didn't know. Number nine is Midnight Rider. Number ten, Land of the Midnight Sun. Ooh. No midnight at the oasis. Wow. You're humming it. <laughs> well, actually, you know, I, I first I had all songs and then I was showing my age so i was i tried to mix it up a little bit. <laughs> it, was a good, it was a very good mix i like that yeah it was great <laughs> so uh so do people uh, so do teams get a bonus for actually figuring out the uh the, the category <laughs> no 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 rule yeah. that is a rule please. unless please. you make it your 10th cat question because you please. can't come up with the 10th question please. Please familiarize yourself with the recent rule. rule. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it written? That, uh, we got to give the, I think uh, there's the a Wikipedia handbook. page. The Wikipedia page. In the Wikipedia page. There's got to be a handbook somewhere. He's got to watch every video ever. I think we're on like 90 don't, or something. Don't that's miss only the game. Like, that's that's, that's only like 300 hours, Jim. You'll have it done in <laughs> All right. Stormy okay. Daniels to the rescue. We had, to my amazement, 10. Wow. We guessed. Wow. And Bill, I mean, Bill literally, really we guessed. Leonard said, we don't know the name of the show. Let's call it the Midnight Club. <laughs> 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 and Bill, Bill knew a lot of them. OK. Yeah, Bill seems to know a lot of these things. All right, here we go. I tried to cook dinner, but my boiler went boom. Oh, uh, we had 10. <clears throat> oh, just 10. Oh, just 10. Uh, we plead for more time. We may get Deborah. <laughs> <laughs> we only Look got eight. <laughs> oh. oh, so if you put Brian Denning's face on a gold coin, you'll have a Dunning Kruger in. Nine. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> Can we come up with another joke for the evening, please? <laughs> That's oh, have to say Too it. late. You have to say it every time. Every time. We didn't it, have enough it'll wear, time. It'll wear off. <laughs> <laughs> Two Canadians, oh my. We got seven. Okay. We got the lowest score. Woo! Well, guess what? We get Deborah. Yay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> we'll Dang, All and right. we tried so hard. Uh, thanks, Janine. <laughs> I know. Here comes Lynn. Who's Lynn? Do we know who Lynn is? She's here. It's not the Lynn that's here. It's another Lynn. Lynn, too. Two. 
Maybe it's a spy. Maybe it's no, we're we're pulling that go. Be that person probably, I scared away that one time. She's Maybe. probably just it doesn't, say, it doesn't say a last name. It doesn't say Lynn who. No, I think Lynn and Paul must have disappeared. This is probably Lynn. They probably came in under another. Um... Yes. Uh, yeah. Paul's computer crashed. Whoa. Oh. oh my God. You caught it from Kevin, didn't you? I don't know. <laughs> uh, now, I, now I don't know how to. I still don't know how to change our name. Though, so. I just did it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. So. Great job, Carolyn. Thank you. Yeah, fun that round. Was that was fun. cool. And that, that is good. the most nervous you will ever get. Every time after that will be a walk in now, the park compared now to you're that. Now you're seasoned veteran. Gee, uh, yeah. Now we can really let you have it. Should yeah. Carolyn yeah. have done all those clocks to, 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 to 12? Oh, yeah, midnight? Yeah. Okay. Well, we wouldn't have known whether it was midnight or noon. <laughs> well, that's true. Yeah. It could be either. Okay, Gail. Let me give you your powers, the powers okay. that be. Like Are you ready for me? The topic for the second category, we do, we've do. we been doing states. This one isn't a state, it's a territory because Washington, D.C. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, muting in three, there. two, one, unmute yourself, Gail. Yep. Okay, uh, the first question. Who, uh, who was the first? Who was the first American president to live in the White House? Question two. This is a true or false. The proposed plans for the Washington Monument were very different from what was actually built. Proposals included a massive structure with columns with the obelisk coming out of the center, a Washington statue ride, a Washington statue riding a horse, that is George Washington, statue riding a horse, and a statue of him wearing a toga. Number three. True or false, there's a crypt under the Capitol building that was intended to be Washington's final resting place. It still exists and included a viewing chamber where his body could have been seen. Obviously, it's not there. Number four, there is only one US president who was buried in the District of Columbia in DC. Who is it? Number five. In 1901, President Theodore Roosevelt made it official that the name of the president's re residence would be the White House. What was it usually called before that? Number six, DC uses letters for east-west streets and numbers for north-south streets. What letter was not included because it was too easily confused with another letter when the streets were named? So it's a letter that is not the name of the street in Washington. Seven. What is the slogan that has been featured on the DC license plate since November 2000? Number eight, in front of the Library of Congress, there is a statue of a Roman god. Who? Which one? Number nine, 
The U.S. Constitution in Article 23 provides that the district gets electoral votes equal to what it would be entitled to if it was a state, but no more than the least populous state. That means that they get how many electoral votes? And number 10 is a multiple choice. Okay. Which of the following is not true about DC? A, there were a total of 19 colleges or universities in the district. B, it has one of the most educated populations in the country, ranking number one, with the greatest number of college degrees per capita. B, it has the lowest rate of student debt in the country, or D, Washingtonians drink more wine per capita than any U.S. state. That's it. Any questions? That's oh, that's one. hard. <laughs> Ten. Come on now. All right. These are fantastic <laughs> questions. <Wow. laughs> yeah, so these are good. Chance, I love I love the states and the the um, geography and the history books. In, in honor of the possible different designs for the Washington Monument, here it is from The Handmaid's Tale. Uh, oh. <laughs> I thought it'd be the Church of Scientology. We know the answer to one of the questions now. <laughs> all right. It is just a true and false after all. Okay, go for it, send us away. Yeah. I'll put the people in their appropriate rooms. Kevin keeps getting kicked out. My, my, my computers give me a hard time. My internet. You need to have a talk with them. Lynn and Paul are going to four also, right? Four. And Deborah's going to one. See you later, Deborah. You just missed me. I'm going to two. This time I know all the answers. I'm, I'm like the last one, but I can't believe we got a 10. <laughs> I mean, I'm absolutely odd by you folks. Well, we got this. Who, who's keeping track? I well, will. gotta go. So hey, who's your team them. members? I, I've got no. I'll um, keep track. Oh, oh, this is it. Okay, I thought you had a bigger yeah, team. We well, have one Karen, more Karen was with us, but she went. She went away. She had to take a phone call, and it must have been important. Oh, that's so, who we're missing. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so more about starving children when I was Leonard, when sports. when yes. you're not talking, can you mute? Because I just muted him. <laughs> the first okay. president to live in the White House was John Adams. Awesome, I got it. okay. And the only Washington buried president is Wilson. We're doing That's number four. Woodrow Wilson is number four? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I believe there is a crypt under the Capitol building. I think I remember them talking about it when I was there. Okay. But there ain't nobody in it. True. But would it be Washington's final resting place? No, it was supposed to be. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. Oh. So I guess they were going to move him from one place to the other. Because he was obviously not there. Okay, the proposed plans. I could see that being true on number two. Oh, it could be. A statue of Washington wearing a toga, though? That'd be cool. cool. Odd, but I don't think she would trick us and have two, two true and one not. Do you? Yeah. Oh. I don't know. What do you guys think? Bill? Leonard? Bill? Yeah, I, don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't see. I think it's true because uh, I can I, see that. Yeah, I too, can see too them. true sound fine. And I can see them trying to do that and being like, and he, he would say, no way. Okay. Fine. You know, okay. If this is, uh, it wasn't an official Washington monument, but somebody did commission a statue of him. Okay. So I would say that's true. Okay, sounds good. Okay, what six. was the White House before the White House? It's Presidential Palace. Ooh. That's... Okay. I'm not positive about that, but that's leaking from the back of my mind. 
You know, I'm looking on number six. I wrote down the alphabet. I Bob think it's on... M. M. M and N. They're very similar. It's I was thinking J. U and V. It's, it's J. 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 Why? What is, what okay, is... I? Like I. Oh, yeah. like oh. I. Because oh, remember, this was back many, a couple okay. centuries ago. So you're right. You're right. Okay. Oh. Okay. What's the slogan? Taxation. Um, taxation without and, representation. And, and taxation without representation. Not wow. end. End is not in there. Really? Just taxation yeah. without representation. Ta taxation without representation. They're complaining about it. Okay. Yeah, that sounds odd. It does seem odd. Like they like they meant to put the beginning, like Bill said, but they didn't have room. <laughs> well, that's maybe why they're complaining. Oh, people. I it's have no idea. Which you know is in front of the Congress. Library of Congress? Roman God, Zeus? Roman God. It would uh Apollo, Library. Book Apollo, related. maybe. That works for me. Why do you think Apollo? He's knowledge. all about not yeah, study, knowledge. Oh, okay. All right. Number nine. Use kind of proof. Three? Three? I was gonna say two. Electoral college. But I, I believe three. Are there any it's, that have two? It's, it, it's three. No. Okay. The minimum any I'll... state has is three. Yeah, that's what I, I, I was going to say because I don't think two, there's two there. senators and one for their. Oh, one yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so it is definitely. Yeah, that makes three. sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wish they'd hurry up and do it in Puerto Rico, too. Ten, it can happen. Know, it's not true. Boy, this, I have no idea. They all. I, well, why would I, they have low could, student debt though? Because some low state of student debt. I, yeah, I, I can't see any of the of the questions because nobody's posted them. Oh, I'll post it. I'll give you number ten. Let me. You got it. Okay. Yeah. There are a total of nineteen colleges. Okay. There's a. There are a total of nineteen colleges and universities in the district. It's the the question is which is not true. Which is not true. So yeah. are there 19 colleges and universities in the district? I can see that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Number uh, letter B, it has to be one of the most educated populations of the country, ranking number one of the greatest number of college degrees per capita. I can see that. Well, with with all of the uh, Congress mm -hmm. congressmen and senators Warriors and people and working for them. Okay, now yes. this one, C, it has the lowest rate of student debt in the country. That I would odd. guess that's probably wrong. That's that they probably have the highest rate of student debt. Yeah, because there's so much college education there. Yes. Okay, but D, Washingtonians drink more wine per capita than any U.S. state. That's yeah. right. Yeah, it does. Why? I because well, when I watched Scandal, they were always drinking. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a. I've never seen Scandal. Is that a TV show? Horrible. I know that's never mind. Well, that's the one that threw me because I wouldn't think Washington would be the wine capital. But remember, you've got a very large contingent of people who are having. Uh, well, they don't have free martini lunches anymore because they drink wine. They do have a lot of parties and stuff, you know, you know, engagement. And, and the reason that you're uh, unsure, Susan, is you're talking about Washington and this is Washington. <laughs> Washington, D.C., I said. Yeah, but it's Washington, D.C. <laughs> Washington, D.C., yeah, I know. There's no R in it. He's yeah, we say. agree. Is uh, there anything, is there anything, though, in Congress that they, they get rid of their student debt, like, if if you worked for the government, okay. So it's probably yeah. C. Probably C. Okay, I it's either C or D, but I'll go with C because I don't have a great argument for D. Who would be who, who would be the biggest wine drinkers if it wasn't lobbyists? <laughs> uh, yes. I would think they'd be bigger coffee drinkers. 
Oh. Not when they're trying to uh, schmooze you. Get somebody to to vote for the to vote the way they want. Yeah. They drink the coffee on their own, but in they in, don't. Uh, they don't do that by giving you wine. They do that by giving you money. Oh. Well, that too. Well, it could be either. Yeah. You know, I, I I think they drink. Yeah, you think about it. Who would be bigger? And uh, I think it's part of the thing's color. coming to mind. I Terry, think it's my you producers. Bring the, rest, the rest of the questions. Sure. And or yes. Do we have the answers for that? I think we got everything. Do we have uh, the answers for everything? Yeah, we have answers. True, true. Woodrow Wilson. Presidential Palace. How confident are you on the White House? Uh, well, as far as first president, absolutely. Uh, the name. Who did you the, say? The, the Presidential Palace? Presidential Palace, I think, is what it was yeah. called. And who did we say was the first president to live there? Adam Wilson. Oh, oh yeah, Adam John Adams. Uh, w Wilson is the only one buried in D.C. Aren't there two Adams? Yeah, there's we... John Adams and John Quincy Adams, and this was the first one. John. Yeah, just plain John. Just plain, just plain John. I'm sure he loved that. You're just plain old John. <laughs> if he had known that there was going to be a Quincy coming after him, I bet you John well, he did. would he... use a different name. Well, he did know there was a Quincy coming after him. It was his son. But when he was president, he would have used John. Whatever. Maybe. His name. Well, maybe he didn't have a middle name. John Awesome Adams. <laughs> something. I mean, you know, yeah. you come up with something. John That's the Steed Adams, or there you go, some kind of John. Something John like that. Steed Adams. Yeah, right. No, the Steed. Yes. And where's John, Mr. Steele? Uh, honest John Adams. Honest John Adams. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> John John and Morticia Adams. Oh. No, he wouldn't have known about that. No. But we we need a name for the uh the Roman god. We said Apollo. Apollo. Apollo? Yeah. Well. I always thought of as Apollo is like the isn't he the no, that's Mercury, I'm thinking of. Mercury's the uh, messenger. He delivers the flowers, right? He delivers anything. <laughs> I was but, just, just watching America. What is it? National Treasure movie. And they show the front front of the uh, Library of Congress. They flash it there, and there's a statue, and it wasn't Apollo. Oh, big beard had a big beard. Oh, Zeus. Yeah. That's Zeus. Uh, I or is it Neptune? Neptune? I think it's Neptune. Okay. A power have no beard. That works for me. How come it's Neptune? What would that? What you would think they'd be in front of an aquarium, <laughs> not like at a, not a library. Uh, is he known Neptune for something wasn't related? Only the god of the sea. He was god of uh, other things as well. So I don't know. Books, knowledge, wisdom. Uh, I thought I he was just, just a fish guy. Yeah, something like that, but anyway. We will know very shortly, and Jill's not getting anything away with her face. She's trying to be smug. Look at her little, look at her face. Look at her. Look at her. Look at how she's trying not to smile. Other people come in here and they put they put little masks on or something, or they, or Carl with a K always goes like this. He goes to the room like this, with his, his hand right in front of his mouth like that, because he can't, he can't give it away. Miguel, we're going to get it out of her. Oh, here she goes. That makes sense. But she's giggling. So we already know. Where's Jamie today? You're on mute. Muted. I can't tell. She's giggling. Giggling. Is he collecting? You know, is she, he told me he wouldn't be here this week because he has a meeting early in the morning. Oh. And he's morning there now. That's true. It's tomorrow. He should just have this from his meeting. He could just have this propped up in the corner. <laughs> Hey everybody! Anybody here? No. <laughs> well, you know, a meeting. When he says he's having a meeting, Karen. Karen, sorry. Would you do, Karen? I I haven't played with my team yet. A reporter called, and I I've, <gasps> I've been on the phone the past hour. Sorry. Oh, that's cool. 
Your name is spelled very well. B E R B I C. That's a B, not a V. Okay. Just let me know. Okay. Are we ready for the answers? We are. I yes. think so. I, really, I think totally we did good. Yeah. Let's yeah, continue our charge to the I bottom. Things that I think you're not going to know that you know. <laughs> my and my team rocked. <laughs> my head looked it up. All right. Number one. Who was the first American president to live in the White House? That was John Adams. It wasn't Ooh. Wilson's time. John, John, John the Stud Adams. <laughs> and number two, I couldn't was his WWE putting name. that in because number two is in fact true. Oh. And I will tell you, I will show you, let me share my screen. I will show you the pictures that I found of uh, share screen. <laughs> that toga. That's creepy. I'm just sitting there on a chair. I have a picture of that. Wow. Where do we have that? They actually made that statue. It was supposed to have been included. And I have that picture. It was the first statue to be removed because it was the 19th century and they considered it obscene. But oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, these were actual pictures that they considered. I think it's at the National Postal Museum. You know what? I think you're right, Caspian, because I have that picture and I think you're right. It's at the Postal Museum. I will go. I'm going. No to, wonder I. No wonder I can picture in my mind of him in a toga. I have seen it. I photographed it. Yeah. You're Is right. that on the Wikipedia page for the National Postal Museum? It should be. No, it's just in my photo albums because I I've been there a few times in in Cal. You don't know how to upload to Wikimedia Commons and uh, put it on the. Page. Oh, is that what you're saying? You're saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, I'll add it to my list of things to look at. Okay. <laughs> my list is getting longer. <laughs> All right, so that was number two. Number three is Look also the true. There. It's still there, but obviously he's not in it. True. Number, uh, number three. So three, two is true, is true, and so is three. Yep. Number four, who was the only president who was buried in D.C.? I think almost everyone got it. It's Wilson. WWF. I was got that. Woodrow Wilson, that the furry. Is he buried in the crypt that, uh, that Washington was supposed to be in? No, he's in the Capitol, not in the. Oh. Trust We're in the Jane. Three, Gail. Sorry? Why did Woodrow Wilson go I there? Said my team is 0 for 3. Yeah. I, I, I was absolutely amazed at how well you folks did. I'm always amazed at that. I think I'm picking really obscure questions and it's not working. Number five, there are two possible answers because they were both in, in use at the time. Either the president's palace or the president's house. Yes. Palace. Oh. <laughs> oh. Sorry, Caspian. We had the president's residence because it just sounded so good. Now we're over. Oh, I four. said yep. out. Yeah, that was my thought. I know, too, I know. We talked out of okay, it. Okay, Gail, we said yeah. presidential palace. That's right. Right? Right. Okay, thank you. Not, we figured the, they were going to stay job, away from Bill. that. Not ever the executive mansion, which it's been called now. Well, somehow. they they didn't. They, that was not in my source given as what they used. <sighs> it was the uh, purple Ma Mar-a-Lago. Mar -Lago? <laughs> it was <laughs> the purple purple house at one point, and they changed it to white. They thought they'd save money on the paint. <laughs> Lennon smacked his head when I said that. <laughs> <laughs> that is gonna knock him down the eye. He's not that doing so well tonight. I think he's had some giggle gas or something. Number six, so many of you are so close, you're gonna be really upset with yourself. But the street that isn't there, you had the right idea. The problem is that this is old writing, not current writing. And 200 years ago, they used to write I's and J's exactly alike. So the answer is J. Oh, yes! I did, look up. I did look this up. Oh. There's no J, X, Y, or Z. And the reason there's no J is LaFont hated John J. <laughs> J. Leonard got it. Did he? Yeah, yeah he's I, got remember, his J. I remember that from when I was in DC one time. Wow. Oh, you counted, you went through all the streets and alphabetized them, made sure that they were all there? <laughs> no, it's <laughs> There's no J! It was they painted of, the signs it when was they first built the city. Some, <laughs> some thing they gave a history of the city, and that was a tidbit that I happen to remember. See, it came in handy. Apparently, Thomas Jefferson Austin wrote his name as T.I. when he was putting his initials, because they wrote the J's were written like an I. Hmm. I think everyone got seven. 
taxation without representation. Yeah, what's up with that? Bill was telling us that. I think it was Bill. Or was yeah, it they Leonard? actually had a political statement on the license plate, which I was, when I first saw that, I thought it was That's absolutely amazing. Yeah. They, they don't have any representation in Congress, but they yeah. still have to pay federal tax. Well, they, they actually oh. do have representation, but the uh, but member can't vote. Can't vote. Oh, okay, so I get it They don't have now. representation in Congress. And that's, that's why it. they did that. I, I'm amazed that they let no them vote. do that. <laughs> I get it, it now. Um, in front of the Library of Congress, and I know one team got it, the answer is Neptune. Mm. <laughs> the guy with the beard. <laughs> Yes. Uh, <laughs> okay. We went back and forth on that for a while. Logic and how many electoral votes they get? I, you could figure it out if you like, because that's why I gave you the article. The state with the least representation has two senators and one House member, which means three, which yep. is what they're allowed Good to job, get Leonard. because of the way the amendment was written. Our first one. Got one. <laughs> Get that ahead of somebody. <laughs> and number 10, I don't think many people got it. At least I didn't see many getting it. Um, I know at least one team did, but most I didn't see. The correct answer to 10 is C. Yes. It has the highest rate, <laughs> not the lowest rate of student debt in the country. Because it makes sense, because number two is true. If you're the most educated, of course, you're going to have. Number two, that's number 10. No, 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 no two. I mean, B. 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 Letter B, number Yeah, two. if it's the most educated, it's obviously going to have the most student debt. Yeah, but because dumb that people program. don't know how to raise their money. Yeah, no, they don't know how to raise their money. They just want to be our politicians. There's a program school. where if you work for the government for a period of time, then you get your debt re erased after 10 years. I don't except think they keep, except what? they keep rolling that back. The debt, the debt relief thing for because we had people like April's been working on that. Well, they said that the average debt right now in Washington, D.C. is 40,000. OK, thanks, Cass. Yeah. And National and, Museum in American History, see? All of them going to law school is. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of lawyers over there. That's going to make it hard. Okay, well, so let's do this. 19 colleges in the, in the district, right? I That's believable. Yeah, but that that's where the student debt's coming from, too. That they're private Jeez, schools. You would think they'd be the first to be like, let's get rid of this. Okay, here's where we're at. So let's go with team number one. Two Canadians. Oh, my. One. Oh, no. Two. <gasps> what? No. We got no, nine and ten. One. Wait, you got two? No, we didn't get nine. No, oh, what? You got nine. one? We got how nine. We get, how did we get ten? We didn't get ten. No. Who's on Team first? Number one. <laughs> what did you score? I thought we said B. No, we didn't. We said C. Okay. I so you got B. two. One. Oh, I got one. 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 Hey, and you got Debra. I gave so you Debra. The correct answer for 10 is C. Yeah. Yeah. We so, C, so 10 was the only one you guys got correct? No, we got nine. nine they got correct. Then you got two points. Oh, okay. Wait, did you have C oh, for number 10? I thought we said. No, I the correct we, answer to we, 10 is C. Oh, okay. Then we got two. Yeah, so you got two. Y'all are trying to teach oh, okay. yourselves out of two points. And you I gave you Debra. What is going on there? Where's Daddy? Send, send more people. Jesus Christ. They I'm, want to make sure they get all the new people. We plead for more time. Four. Put out a call. All right. If you put Dunning's face on a coin, you get Dunning's face on a coin. <laughs> How many? Seven. 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 All right. So I tried to cook dinner, but my broiler went boom. Six. Stormy Daniels to the rescue. Ten. My team. Just want you guys to know I was on that team. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. I was on that team. I'm next. I did not take that team. 
I did okay. not take it. So you guys you just changed your own little. <laughs> you're always talking about right me. On, Susan. You got you got it. Faith, yeah, this yeah. is gonna be a this is gonna I be an easy Susan round, right? So you know, hey. So get your pictures and we're gonna take a picture. So get your get your cameras back on. I'm literally the only person that was relevant to. <laughs> what did he say? I was the only person that was directed to. What did you say? What did they say? That. What was it? You said turn your cameras on. No, oh. Bill's got his camera. Karen was off. Bill's camera. I was off. Well, Bill's got his best He's look. Just like very Bill's still. <laughs> He's always I'm standing. Get my kids in the picture. Okay, everybody, ready? Pinch your cheeks. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Okay, let's make sure I have it. Aspen didn't smile. My God. Three people. By the way, when, 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 do, when does it? Where does this weekly picture get posted? It's on. It's on a lot. Of places. Everywhere. On the book of faces. It's all is over it, the place. Is it the, 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 the national the book? book? It's, it's uploaded behind the statue. To TikTok servers. <laughs> China. It's in the crypt to Beijing the White House. Um, it's on. It's on our thumbnail for our videos. That when we put okay. out a video, and every time I put out a new uh, event page for our for the next game, it's the main picture there. And I also put it up on Facebook. And I have an out. I have Netflix three albums. in the Library of Congress. And it's on the Wikipedia page for <laughs> who knows when. Okay, so um, you know what. If you would, Rob, um, just give that science saves one more time that uh, URL, and then let's go to break five minutes. But if they want to look at that science saves while we're gone, that might be fun. It's just going up right now. Okay, I'll put it up again. There All right, go. five minutes. I'm keeping the camera rolling as wow. well as this as it's recording. So you better be nice. Don't talk too much about me. If you're going to talk oh. about me. Make it interesting at least. <sighs> I'm hanging out and I'm cutting and pasting or copying and pasting these questions to my daughter who will be moving to Washington, D.C. in August. What's she going to do, Robin? She's working for a corporation called, I think it's called CFI, and it's a climate change consulting corporation. <laughs> She's going to be doing some kind of computer stuff. I don't know. Is she so. graduating? She's graduating May 17th. Oh, yay. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. I can stop the bleeding from my bank account. Right. <laughs> okay. In that New York apartment, right? Yeah. <laughs> All that. Okay. Well, good night. Good uh, night. Hey. Who's leaving? Hi. Hey. I can't complain about her apartment. That's probably the, the biggest bargain of the experience. Oh. She's got a really nice apartment in a really nice building, and it, we're paying $1,300 a month for that. You're uh, kidding. No, How in the world? But she has two roommates, and it's it's campus housing. I mean, it's a, it's a campus-owned building. But, um, but if it were a private building, it would be a lot more than that. <laughs> so it'll be sad to get that up then. It will be. But um, but up onward and upward. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious to see what kind of apartment um, Avi's going to end up with when he moves. To, he's moving in. Uh, he's moving um, to Leipzig and, uh, in, uh, awesome. in a few weeks. And uh, so he looked at the, you know. So he they they were only he wasn't going to have time to actually see the place. So he just looked at these videos and all the apartments they showed look like um uh displays from ikea but um it'll be it'll be interesting to see so he's got this one a tiny little um uh inefficiency apartment you know so it'll be it'll be interesting to see but he only has to have a three-month lease but uh it'll be interesting to see what he ends up with well send send pictures We'll, my well, we'll, we'll send pictures or we'll be we're going to be there next uh next month or in uh oh, in, cool. in april so so very we'll cool. uh we'll send pictures cool very cool 
Okay. For my team, I'm only going to be for one more round, and then that's it. Oh, then we're going to have a round on Vincent's. Famous Vincent's. <laughs> round four. Yeah. Canadian men named Vincent. Get off of my food, kitty. She's standing on my, he's standing on my candy. We can't the, talk. The thing about uh, my name, it's very, very rare. Vincent? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's Why? Not, not a common name. Vincent? Here. Yeah. Not at all. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, really it's a common name here because we have a lot of Italians here. Yeah. And go to Providence, uh, Rhode Island. Everybody's named Vinny. <laughs> Vinny. But they call him Vinny. Yeah, I hate that name. We've never called you Vinny. They they used so when I was in high school, they used it as a way to bully me by calling me that. Vinny? Yeah, the worst. So do not like do not like that name. Vincent, my, my friend is French and he lives in France and his name is Vincent. Oh yeah? Yeah, because that's the French form of Vincent is right. Vincent. The chicken and Max and in, is trying to tell us something. What is Max saying? Can anybody decipher that? And in Spanish, Jimmy's stuck in the well. <laughs> what is it in Spanish? Uh, it's uh, Vicente. Vicente. Oh, Vicente. Yeah. Vicente. Caspian's right. So, so Max is trying to give us a message. Like Lassie, you know, Lassie would come running and saying, "Jimmy's stuck in the well." That's what Max is trying to tell you. I. I tried to catch a baby and, and they were running around making noise. And so I think Max went over, to, went over to see what's going on. Just you have to be careful if you let them out too far. You might step on one of them. Little cutie little thing. They'll, they'll just want to get back in to be with their mom. So mommy. Okay. But, Who's that? What? Dunning's trying to explain what we're You're doing. muted, Brian. He's talking to somebody, and I can't really quite tell who that is because it's far away. Oh, is that Andrew? I think it might be Andrew. Can't quite tell. All right. Come back. Okay. Could we finish up old business before we get to the normal stuff for this section? What old business? Well, so I just looked up a site that's whitehousehistory.org, and I don't think you can get any more official than this, and this is what it says. Executive Mansion. Also found on whitehouse.gov. Yeah. I think you should go to whitehousehouse.com. Uh, I, I, I'm, uh, I'm contesting that last score. Okay, whitehouse.com well, right. is a porn site. <laughs> I think that if you found a source that says that, that is not what my source said. Yeah, there's and a source. And I didn't give you my source, so I think you should get credit. Thank you. So Susan, please. Oh, then I get three. Yes. He gets three. That means we get oh, three. You guys, don't be such whiners. Not no, whiners. Is one one point, to one point, Susan. Fix it. Okay. <laughs> On both categories. So, so three so for team one and Rob. Yeah. Team five. You're at eight. Yeah. Yep. Team Anybody else need change now? Team four, two tens. <clears throat> four. Two tens. Ten for both categories. No. <laughs> Pop it. Pop it. You had six. Six oh. plus one is not ten. Or you're gonna go get your mouth, you're gonna get your high school diploma to reneged on you. Now that my team has gone from two to three on that category, we're gonna win. Yes. We <laughs> feel empowered now. Woo! All, right, now. <laughs> All right, so let's see what do we have going on in the world? Anything happening out there? Let's let's start with Kyle. Are you back? There's Kyle. I am indeed. Back. What's going on, Kyle? I hear you have a podcast. I do. It's called Data Skeptic. And this week on Data Skeptic, I interview a researcher who works on a project called the PSID, the Panel Study of Income Dynamics. They've been uh, doing an annual and now biannual survey since 1968. Um, in one case, they followed uh, through seven generations of a particular family. So they have this longitudinal data set to study how families develop and income dynamics and stuff like that. And we get into a bunch of details about that program and how it works. How do they develop families? 
So, like, if you were one of the original families in 1968, they're still following you. Oh, interesting. Or, or all your descendants. Your, all, they interview you about all sorts of stuff then, huh? Yeah, yeah. They have what they call the PSID gene. And it's as long as you can trace back to a biological ancestor who was in the study in the 60s, they'll want to interview you. Hmm. Yeah, neat stuff. Yeah, they ha- they must make sure that there's no, so there's no hinky pinky going on where people are having affairs or anything like that. Not and get not getting in the wrong data. Like if you know, we didn't in the study, any, we didn't get any juicy stuff. We talked a little bit about the rules, but yeah, I should have maybe gone deeper there. Maybe that could yeah, because be that's, that's where my better. mind went. Is that you know if some if somebody's in that study and they say this is my biological the you know this is the thought. Fo- this is a father of this child, and it's not. They're not going to script a study. Well, yeah. they they had to add the genetic aspect in later on because it wasn't available at the beginning of the study, right? So it's not truly genetic. That's why I did the air quotes. Oh, it's okay. just that, yeah. That. Okay. Oh, so it's just it, it, if so, it's a study of people of um, demographics and income. It probably doesn't matter if you're biologically related. Right. If you're in the household, you're uh, you're benefiting from the demographics. I exactly. believe that's exactly right. Yeah, yeah. like habits and and income and uh, education. We're, we're, in fact, they explicitly said that uh, it works for adoptions. If you're adopted into the family, then yeah. you're in the family. Uh huh. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, so, well, woman, so they could kind of mess around. Some hanky pinky going on over there. Sure, sure. Who are we to judge? They could mess around and find out. So, so there's not a poor gene. Oh, that helps. <laughs> Susan's trying to spice up her cat podcast here with some. Oh yeah, my podcast. <laughs> so I'm so piped up. Hey Dunning. Yes. I hear you have a podcast or something. Maybe some really? kind of movie or something What's coming up. I do. <laughs> What's, what is that all about? Can you tell uh, Europe, our, a massive Europe, audience? Um, that's in, um, that is in scoring and color at the moment. That's why you have time to hang out with us. Yes. I have like three weeks with nothing to do. Oh, cool. Ah, we get very nice. Weeks. So tell, can you tell our audience, this massive audience that I have that's like watching all the videos and stuff, what movie this is called? The UFO movie they don't want you to see. It's they. Uh, they. They. <laughs> they is all capitalized. It's the proverbial. They. <laughs> yeah, it's it's basically it's it's mostly hard science. Um, exobiology, astrobiology, uh, planetary spectra, that kind of thing, and then just touching a little bit under the physics. But I mean, going for a general audience, so keeping it all of that as light as possible. So, of course, you interviewed Mishukaku, who is now uh, absolutely <laughs> certain that they're extraterrestrials. Yes, he asked me what I would like him to say if I paid him enough. <laughs> <laughs> I think the next step is for Michiokaku just to admit that he's an alien from another planet. <laughs> there you go. No, it was nice because I, I got to include some young up and coming, um, an astrobiologist and an astrophysicist who are big on TikTok and everything. And um it, it's fun to have an opportunity to uplift new upcoming talent in science cool. communication. I'm more excited about the cool. Carters. Yeah, that, that was a that was an amazing day going to the going to the Carter house in in Georgia. Driving uh, driving around in his car. Driving around in his car. Um, you know, I didn't get to meet Jimmy uh, when before as we were pulling up to the house. Um, Josh Carter, who was driving, um, he, he was talking to the Secret Service on the phone and they were telling him, you know, they're, they're not having a good morning. Um, you know, Rosalind Carter has dementia. Um, Jimmy's not doing well. They're both they're both slowing down a lot. Um, well, 96 or something. Yeah. So they were yeah. they, they had just they had just it was like 11 in the morning and they had just gotten them both to bed. So Josh said, well, wow. we're not going to, we're not going to be seeing them. And so that, so we got to do all the shooting and everything, but uh, several hours later, as we were leaving the house, he said, well, I'm going to go say hi to my grandparents before we leave. And he, he, he insists that I come with him. I put, no, 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 no. 
So I'm sitting there in the their living their bedroom is right off the living room. Uh, it's 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 a quite a small modest house. Yeah. And um and there's uh, a couple of nurses um, who were employed there full time. Everyone who works with them um, was someone, according to Josh, what he told me was someone who was wrongfully convicted of some horrible felony in Georgia um, by a systemically racist um, judicial system. And um, Carter has employed all of them, some of them for decades. And so he, he's got a half a dozen of these nurses and, and people helping at the house who just basically sit there and stare at their phones all day uh, because there's just not, not much to do. Um, so I'm sitting there in the room with them. And then um, after a few minutes, Rosalind Carter comes out um, very tiny. I mean, she couldn't have been five feet tall. I mean, they're so miniaturized by at, at this age. Um, and I know it's incredibly, um, uh, stereotypical to say but she lit up the room <laughs> it, was, it was it was amazing to have her come and she out. has dementia too huh she has dementia she walked a few steps she had cleaned herself up and put on makeup and and gotten dressed and um and josh said hi this is this is my friend brian and she she looked at me and was smiling she said one thing she said you're tall <laughs> <laughs> It was like the best thing that ever happened to me. Oh my God. <laughs> and I, you know, I, I said, whatever you're supposed, you know, I'm very nice to meet you. Thank you for letting me into your home. You know, what are the. I won't steal anything. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It, it was. It Can was, I be in your toilet? <laughs> Do they it still was, have Secret Service protection? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They have the Secret Service has a little house on their property. Um, their property is enclosed by a fence, uh, you know, a, a fairly serious fence with, uh, you know, the razor wire on top and everything. So I'm asking because I was wondering if they pat you down. No, no. Uh, when, when we got, I was expecting that. Yeah. And when we got there, um, Josh just drives up and says to the little speaker at the, at the gate, says, hey, Josh here. And they go, ah, oh, come on in. And the gate opens up. We drive in, go up the driveway. And after a few minutes, a guy comes walking along and he's, hey, how you doing, Josh? And they ex exchange small talk for a minute or two. And he says, yeah, and, and you are? <laughs> I said, yeah, I, I, I'm Brian. I didn't give my last name. I just said, yeah, I'm Brian. Shake hands. That, that was all there was to it. Um, Don't worry, Brian. They knew your name. <laughs> <laughs> but when we when we left, though, when we uh, after we'd been there for a while, uh, we were coming outside and we were walking around looking for maybe another uh, location to get a few shots. And he came out again and he said, yeah, was your, your last name was I say, oh, Brian Dunning, you know, anything you want to know. And uh, he, Here, frisk me. <laughs> he goes back to the house and I, I said to Josh, he, he's like running my name through the Interpol database and everything else now, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> but they were, they were nice folks. And um, I didn't realize this, but the, the home is owned by the National Park Service now. The Carters at some point sold their house to the National Park Service. And after they pass, it's going to become some sort of a national landmark or or, or whatever, yeah, uh, potentially sense. open to the public, which it's not now. But there Except was a, for the you, whole, unless your name is Brian Denning. Right, if you're special. Yeah, you're um, special. the whole time we were there, there was a ranger or two, just in conventional National Park Ranger uh, uniforms, walking around with the snake sticks, you know, the, the, with a, with a pincher on the end to pick up a snake, just walking around really carefully looking <laughs> for snakes. Apparently one of the people who works in the house had a couple of days or two before seen a snake and they were very <laughs> panicked about snakes at the Carter home. And so these, that's all these people did all day was the Carter said they saw a snake. So we're going to find a snake. So they walked around looking for snakes. Now, if only they could have said they saw a Sasquatch. Yeah, that, that was really all that there was to it, except for those brief encounters with the uh, park rangers and the, and the Secret Service. It was just visiting some old folks at their home. You need a really big stick for that. <laughs> yeah. For big oh, for Sasquatch. Wow, Brian, you got to write a book. It was, um, it, 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 you know, Plains, Georgia is, if, if anyone's ever been there, it is smaller than you would ever dream. I mean, it's not even a block. It's like four or five storefronts 
Uh, mm -hmm. You know, one of which is the candy store that sells all peanut themed candy. <laughs> one of which is the little cafe, which is the only place there is to eat in town. And, you know, a, a little market or one or two other things. And driving around in that, um, oh gosh, I'm freaking out. Which 46, 46 Ford? Like, hang on. He's got it in the back of the house. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a car. About a week after I got home, Josh took this picture of me while he and I were driving around in the car. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice. He framed it in this little thing and he mailed it to me. Just wow. you know, out of the blue. They're just the nicest people, the entire family. But driving around planes in that car, it's just everywhere you go, everyone waves. They all know who the car is, obviously. Um, it was just, it was just a really, I, I hate to use such a, such a hackneyed term, but it was a magical day. It really was. You know, I, I can see that photo of you in that car, maybe on a Wikipedia page somewhere. Uh, <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice to be able to link Brian Dunning's name to Jimmy Carter's hyperlink? Mm, I can see that. that. Um, but Brian, but how would you arrange that? that, that, that. that. Picture, but... I, I think I know somebody who might be able to <laughs> do that. Well, you're, you're a psychic and you explain things. So Very good. <laughs> oh, so that's per, a great story. I have to be. It has to be I, the person who took the picture, Susan. Correct. Yeah, he I'm, owns the picture. No, it has to no. be the person who took the picture. I don't. I don't feel right about that. He does not own the copyright to the picture. That's correct. You guys are something else. I, I might have taken. <laughs> you know the Wikipedia uh, rules. You can, he you could can have contact, taken it. You can contact the photographer, Brian. Well, he yeah. can also. We we'll talk. We'll talk yeah. anyway. Susan, anyway, weren't you a photographer? Yeah. I do not know this. I know I do, but I'm recorded. They see care. Penny owns everything. You I'm took, being right? recorded. All right. Okay. So, uh, Rob, you have something. Thank you so much, Brian. That was absolutely amazing. I'm glad I recorded. And, and for that. people who don't know, not everyone here might know why you were there, Brian. Right? It's because there's a famous "I saw a UFO" story by the oh, yeah, president. Oh, uh, that's a very good point. Yeah, um, Jimmy Carter famously saw a UFO in 1967, 69, seven or 69, um, and as some of you who've been listening to Skeptics Guide to the Universe for a long time may remember, they actually had him on the show that when um, they had the president on the show and he told his story of, of seeing the UFO. And that entire interview is included in the movie um, with, some, with some snippets of, uh, of Steve, Steve Novella um, talking about how that interview came about. And that was the bulk of my, uh, what's in the movie is me interviewing Josh there at the home Josh is telling where Jimmy Carter used to tell him the story when he was a little boy and how he came to have, um, how he came to get President Carter to be on the Skeptic's Guide to the Universe and how that resulted in this uh, professor from Georgia Tech University uh, saying, oh, I know exactly what that was because I was in the Air Force when they were doing those tests. Um, and so we got the whole story from beginning to end and all the pieces nicely fit together. I mean, this is by no means is this the first time this has been told, but I did get to get everyone together and was able to put the whole story together beginning be to end. timely too with, Great. unfortunately, the um, yeah, ending. I'm, I'm kind of horrified about that, but um, uh, that's certainly not a way I was hoping to publicize the film. I hope no, I but uh, it's, no, I, I think you're, you're doing it on that. purpose. You you have instigated Congress to do this to increase the publicity just for your film. Oh, you oh, can, Congress! You yeah, can yeah. Fess up, Ryan. He yeah. knows Ron. Uh, uh, what's that guy? Rico, Rico. What's the guy in Florida? The one that's oh, all. Did you hear this? No, Good no. The other it? guy. The the. Huh? <laughs> that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> Miko. Rico Suave. No, the guy who's a congressman in Florida who who got the the UFO bill. He made it. Rico Dico. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh come on, who's the senators of Florida? Washington. Marco Rubio. Rubio, and Rich. Rubio, Marco, little Marco. Oh God, yeah, oh, that guy's involved in something. That guy yeah. believes everything. Yeah, so he's it, into it, the it, UFO yeah. stuff. So so yeah. Dunning and, and Marco hang out. Ah, 
Yeah, he's not dropping Havana syndrome either. After the U.S. government released its report on the first of this month, I don't believe that. There has to be something behind it. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. We got to get on because I'll. No, wait, wait. You asked, you asked me. You asked me. I deflected. Yes, yes, Rob. Brian. Do you have Maybe anything? Uh, coming up, um, I, I submitted my interview uh, with Kyle here uh, three weeks ago, I think it was, like the day after we talked. I don't know, it seems like it was that long ago. And apparently Barry says, they're so backed up, but they're going to so today he sent me something. Oh, I hope you sent the video in, which of course I did. I'm so looking forward to seeing this interview. And this was after reading my little introduction to it. Because right. I, I kind of teased Kyle, it. you know what that means. If Barry's looking forward to, to it. Yeah. That's good. So hopefully that he, it means he week. might hopefully he doesn't or have me confused week. with somebody. Hopefully <laughs> neither of us go missing. Kidding. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Okay. I have um tomorrow. Nothing. Um oh, I am going to be I contacted some TikTok medium, some woman on the internet who's skeptical about a lot of psychics. She's a psychic herself and she does yeah. all these crazy, you know, things. Anyway, she wants to do a YouTube live in a uh, talk between the uh -huh. two of us. So tomorrow we're going to meet and we're going to talk about the dynamics of it. And then Saturday, possibly we'll do something live in the morning. Oh, so that should be something interesting. She wants to do it on her, her Facebook page. And I said, of course, and then I'll put it on mine too. So it should be interesting. I don't know. This is a true believer. Um, I've been adding a lot of stuff to the Psychics Explained YouTube page. I hope you guys check it out. I've been having so much fun there. And I just did an interview with the Philadelphia Skeptics. And I'm going to be on, oh, Monday, 7.30, my time. I'm going to be on the radio in Connecticut for the Lisa Wexler show. And she was the she was the woman who interviewed Thomas John totally uncritic, you know, with no skepticism whatsoever. And I, and then I did a video showing how he hot read her and she says she wanted me to be on the show, but she doesn't want me mentioning his name, but she says, I can steer, I can explain all I want and steer it over to my channel. So I get a half an hour with her and I told her I wasn't going to be so nice. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm going to say. So that'd be interesting. That's my you, 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 can you can't call my let's just call him JT. Yeah, yeah JT. No, it's a radio. It's a radio, but it'll be out as a podcast. I'll put it up on Facebook when I get all the particulars, but it's an actual ra yeah. call in radio show in Connecticut. But she's but will, like, it, will it be live on Friday? Yes, it'll be absolutely live. It's a call in radio show live. I will be on a telephone, believe it or not, talking to her live in Connecticut at 7 30 my time. And it's called Lisa Wexler. W X L E R something something but it's some radio station I don't know so that should be fun because it's because Thomas John was just on it a few weeks ago so do you need a real telephone or can you use no actually I can use this if you're going to be on coast to coast you're supposed to have a landline just just let me know I've, I don't I've know if that's true now and I've got an old telephone if you know, I bet I've seen, I've I've seen got that a dial phone. phone I've seen so, that. a judge and an attorney. Lisa with a dial yeah with she's a, dial. a she's a probate attorney and i'm and i told her if thomas john could speak to the dead we wouldn't need probate attorneys <laughs> you just automatically just contact the dead so i doesn't, don't know doesn't work that way susan <laughs> it doesn't work at all <laughs> anyway back to the game so uh faith i think you're up next is that right yeah. This landline that you're speaking of. Oh, shut! <laughs> All right, we've been on too long. I spoke to I spoke to um, Craig Foster's um, psychology um, class this morning at five thirty this morning, oh. and it was nice. I got to I I have had so little sleep, and I got. Why the, were the kids up so early? <laughs> they're in New York. And so I was at 530, but they were great. They would read my articles and great questions for me. Every time I talk to a student group and anybody here who's done that you, or works with students, oh, man, you just feel like we're going to be OK. You know, that's how it feels. Some of these other generations I'm not so sure about. What you got there, Jane, what are you showing us? Mozart, Reclam by the Carter. We are going to perform Mozart Requiem, and we have four concerts coming up. 
And I'm going to be so very busy the next couple months. I'm not sure when I'll be able to log on. Where are they going to be? Uh, the first two concerts are in the Carmel Mission. Oh. And then we're performing in Santa Cruz at the Holy Cross Church. And we're performing in the Santa Clara Mission. Ooh, will this be on your Facebook page? The like the yes. Oh, excellent. And and she's yeah. stuck in the word Carter. Is there uh is there an orchestra? Or yes, is there, there is an orchestra. Awesome. Alan wants to come out and do it. That's right. Uh, I love I love doing that. That's a great piece. Yeah. So my, my college coming. did that. I got to do it both in choir and orchestra. So it was very cool. You're yeah. just making sure professional mu musicians are employed. There you go. And it's not on a Thursday, right, Jane? I'm sorry? None of those dates are Thursdays, right? No, they're Saturday and Sundays. Sun Saturday evening and Sunday evenings. Okay. Maybe maybe I'll take a little ride over there. Who wants to go with me? <laughs> Don't all volunteer once now. I heard Deborah's hand going up. Karen's hand's going up. If I was much closer, the one, I would. The one in I'll, Santa Clara sounds interesting. Ron wants yeah. to go. Yeah, it's can a, you pick me up? We're going to talk about Luann the whole time. <laughs> that was yeah, funny. Can you uh, send me a ticket? Cling to yeah, uh -huh. you have to get a visa or something. Thank you, Jane. I'll check it out. Okay, thank I'll, you. I'll put it on my note. Okay, so Faith. <laughs> Ready? We put we put Faith asleep. Sorry about that. That was just awesome. No, I don't know if I have powers. But... Of course you have powers. I, I'm in charge here. Oh. All right. Yes. Okay. okay. My category is, and I was strategic with this, but not too easy. It's ultra marathons and there is a marathon sneaked in there. So it's a running theme category. My favorite thing in the whole entire world. And you know, I'm on the team, right? Yeah. <laughs> so is my husband. So we're going to be good. Oh, okay. So gonna... <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. Yeah. What are you calling three, the theme? Two. Um, hold on. It was a barn owl. No, it's. I'm just going to call it. Let's just call it ultra marathon marathon running, because there is a question about a marathon, and for some reason the numbers aren't transferring over. So this is question one. The Barclay muting, marathon. Muting. Muting. Okay. Three, two, one. Unmute yourself. All right. Okay. The Barkley Marathon is dubbed the race that eats its young. It has, it has at most 40 participants at any given race. The inaugural event was in 1986, and the first time anyone finished was in 1995. No one would finish again until 2001. The 2012 race had its first repeat finisher. In its 30, 37 years, the race has had at least one finisher 21 times. How many individual finishers has there been in this race? And I will give you plus or minus two. That sounds like a Peter Piper thing. Picking it's, peppers of pickles. <laughs> it was just held about a week or so ago. So. Okay. All right. Question two. The Badwater 135 starts at Badwater Basin in Death Valley, the lowest point in North America. It ends at Whitney Portal, the trailhead to summit Mount Whitney the highest point in the contiguous United States. And why is it called Badwater 135? And give me one second to give you the multiple choice options. And I think the letters are not gonna come, uh, not gonna copy over because this is a Mac and Macs are stupid. So the first option you have is 135 feet is how far below sea level Badwater Basin is. Your second um, answer is 130, 135 degrees Fahrenheit is the approximate highest ever recorded air temperature in Death Valley and also on Earth. Or, yes, I mean, a negative 135 feet. Thank you, Susan. Thank you. Um, the race is limited to 135 participants due to safety reasons as the race occurs over the 4th of July, or the distance of the race is 135 miles. Let me know when you're done putting the letters. No, it's not negative. Well, never oh, mind. I just put a dash. I didn't really know it was yeah. negative. That was just so for number one. It should be negative one thirty-five. 
negative 135. Okay, so. Because no, no, you, you say far below sea level, so the positive number is acceptable. Otherwise, you're making a double negative. Okay. All right. Question three. The Marathon de Sable or the Marathon of the Sands is a six to seven day ultra marathon that covers the distance of six marathons. Which desert is the race ran? Question four. The four deserts ultra marathon series crosses four continents. Participants race 250 kilometers or about 1,000 kilometers total in four of the top 25 deserts based on area. Two are in the top six and the other in the bottom five. Name one of the deserts. And I will not accept the country because most of these cross into several countries and there, the race is, um, does not actually cross an international border. Um, and I will give you a hint that there are no repeat answers in this uh, category. Okay, question five. If you run an ultra marathon, particularly a hundred mile distance or more, you don't get a race medal for finishing, you get a belt buckle. This was speculated to have been inspired by the Trevis Cup, a 100 mile endurance force race that gave belt buckles to finishers. What ultra marathon is held on the same trail, though not along with the horse race? It's dubbed the Boston Marathon of trail running. Which is, what race is it? And I, this is multiple choice. So give me a second. Hold on, I accidentally pasted. Control Z, or because uh, it commands Z. Z. Okay, it commands, it commands Z. Z because Max are stupid. <laughs> I need a new computer, Romero. You could buy a Volvo or something if you instead of buying your another Apple. <laughs> that was just a joke. I know. You could buy two Volvos for the price of your Mac. No, I'm only kidding. All right. Question six. Of the choices in the last question, which race is the only one that has entrants run alongside horses over a similar course in a separate but simultaneous course? So the race basically takes place at the same time a horse race takes place. Ooh. And again, I will reiterate, there are no duplicate answers. I did that to help you. Okay. The Spartathlon race is inspired by this Athenian runner who ran from Athens to Sparta, a distance of 246 kilometers. Myth states he ran to Sparta to seek aid against the Persians for the Battle of Marathon. He is also said to have ran from Athens to Marathon, a distance just 1.2 miles short of the current marathon distance to announce the victory over the Persians. It said he collapsed and died after he delivered his message. Name this Athenian runner. And question eight. The Boston Marathon has a rather unique logo, which is found on all, that should be apparel and race medals. This mythical animal is quite fitting since being able to enter this race is highly desirable among marathon runners, but extremely difficult to obtain. You must qualify by time, but even that doesn't guarantee a spot. What mythical animal is found on the logo? And question nine. The Marathon March in Sweden is an annual last man standing race. You must keep a 20 minute mile pace, are given a 24 minute break every six hours, and you are allowed to live if you drop out. This race was inspired by the novel, The Long Walk. It's about a group of 100 young boys who have willingly entered a death march. They must keep a 15 minute mile pace, no breaks, and you are killed if you can't keep up. 
The race is over when only one person is left. This novel was written under the pseudonym Richard Bachman. What is the author's real name? And question 10. Per marathonhandbook.com, Forrest Gump ran across the U.S. five times, covering 15,248 miles over the course of three years, two months, 14 days, and 16 hours. This nets him running about 13 miles a day at half a mile per hour. Bob Pope, Bob Pope an ultramarathoner, attempted the same feat, even dressed and quaffed in Gump fashion, but ran about 400 miles more with, the, with an average of 40 miles a day over 422 days. How many pairs of shoes did Bob report going through? I'll give you a hint. It's less than his daily mileage average, and he did replace them within the current recommend, recommended of every three to 500 miles. And I give you plus or minus three pairs. That's cruel. That's just cruel. <laughs> I actually looked up pictures of him, and he did grow the beard and the long hair and wore the Bubba Gump fish hat in the uh -huh. green jacket. So I, I did thought he that the smiley happen. face too. I don't know if he did that with shit happen. <laughs> God, I haven't seen that movie since it came out. Practically, it's actually a really good movie. I have a question. Okay. Yes. Number eight, you typed the word appeal, but I think you said yeah, the I meant to put apparel. Apparel. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, and if for some reason it's not letting me send people to its room. And, and also you said medals. I think you mean medals. Did it auto? Yeah. That's what I mean, like the race medal. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. I apologize. We'll live. Hello, team. Hey, hello. Uh, well, right. Are you playing I'm, solitaire? I'm already, I'm already exhausted just reading these things. Never yeah, I know number seven. I have no idea. I'll let. I'll just type. You guys tell me what to type. Seven is marathon. Oh, I've got a different. No, view. that's uh, seven. Seven is asking for the name of the guy. That yeah, ran. his name is Marathon. No, and Marathon is the city that he ran to. It's oh, okay. Different. Never mind. It's something like Pheidippides or something like that. It's not like Apollo or something like that, was it? No, I think I think you're right, Jane. Yeah, Philippides or something. Pheidippides or spell that, Ben. <laughs> yeah, no, you can spell it for me, and I'll type it. Because, like, I have no idea. Ped, 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 like ped, pedies, ped, like you know, like feet, Pheidippides or something. Sarah. Serendipities. How, how, no, how like, close do we have to get on the spelling to get it, to consider this a correct answer? <laughs> I, she I won't check. Just say it. I think if it sounds say phonetically, it maybe. starts with ph, and it's something like Pheidippides or something like that. Oh my god! And I, I, I knew Marathon was in there somewhere, but you're right; it's a city. All right, so there, oh, go ahead, <laughs> Romero. Go ahead and give us the rest of them. Well, I I know some of them, but you want to start number one? I think this yeah, one is like... Yeah, going back to number one. He's this one's like young. This is disgusting. How did you oh, end okay. up on this team? What did you say, 18? This fate's on this team. Hold on. Oh, yeah. what? Are you saying 18 or 15? I think like 15. 15, or something okay. Yeah. Susan, you can't talk over Romero when he's giving me the answers. Oh, well, so sorry. Because I can't, I can't this hear. This one is... This one is D is the distance of the race. Oh yeah, that makes the most sense to me. The whole how many feet below sea level just didn't make sense to me. Yeah. Okay. And this one I think is the Sahara Desert. Yeah. And this one uh in race in four of the top deserts based on area. Who are the top six? I mean, I, I I remember that I think this one is the Mojave Desert, the Atacama Desert. What not? What what number is this? What number are you looking at? Four, four right? Four. Yeah. Mojave. Uh, and, yeah. Mojave. We only need one of them, right? Uh, yeah, it wait, says Mojave name one of the, the deserts. One in China, right? 
God, the goat is in China, North. isn't it? Well, now hang on. Where is Mojave Desert? Isn't that? It's in Southern California, isn't it? So it's an American oh. thing. It's a, it's no, a, no, it's no, sorry. Uh, it's not the it's not the one in, in uh is the one in China. What's the one in China called? Gobi. Well, let's put the the Atacama Desert because I I'm pretty sure about that. One. How, how do we spell it? A two T. A T. I don't know if it's two A's. Atacama. C A. She won't check. She won't ask for the spelling. Yeah, close We're enough. Recording this. We know. We know what we mean. Oh no, my spelling is for all to see, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> Oh well, what are you gonna do? Oh, all of those people. Hey, all those people out there watching. I, got, I, I like two T's better. I don't care. It looks better. I have since dubbed it two T's. Oh, that's nice. It's nice. Thank sure. You. This Whatever. one. This one is B. The Western States one hundred. B. E. Okay. Oh, B. 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 Right. B is in boy. B is in buffalo. B is in bronchitis. B is in baby. B is in, is in Ben. Ben Bellinger. B is in ah, better, yeah. we get, better we should get going here. Oh. Hey. Quit ruining our fun, Alan. Jeez. We're recording too, Alan. <laughs> we can let you on the Netflix show. <laughs> okay. What are we doing? Uh, sex. I'm not sure. Um, what I, race I is the only it's... one that has entrance run alongside horses? Oh. I mean, I, it's not a... What about Old Dominion? It just it just just has that that equestrian sound to it. Old Dominion. I don't know. Oh, I, it might be the other. I would guess C. I don't know, but I I don't know. I'm not. A, All right, not so, so go see. Vermont. All right, we, <laughs> I'm not even going to try to pronounce that word again. <laughs> Whatever Jane it said. Is a, it is a unicorn. Uh, it oh, is cool. unicorn? I'd it buy is. that. It is. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, and this one, I have no idea about this. I try to remember. Does a unicorn? Does a unicorn also have wings? No, that's uh, there. You have a Pegasus, a Pegasus. which has wings. Because that's what I was thinking of. That I was kind of thinking horn. of. A, I was kind of thinking of a Pegasus more than a unicorn. Well, they I only show the, unicorn, the head actually because I think it's just and the, it has head. the horn. Oh, all right, yeah. okay, all right, okay. Um, this isn't going to be a uh, this isn't going to be a Stephen King thing, right? Because she's a Stephen King fan. Well, it could be. Yeah, she's a big fan of. Stephen I'm King, thinking. So. Did he use that? He might have used that as one of his because he's written under pseudonyms before. I mean, that's the best. Better than nothing, right? Why would you write under pseudonyms if you're famous? And he he's Stephen King like that, I think, right? He's PH. Maybe yeah. he wrote it when he wasn't famous. Could yeah. Be. Okay, per marathonhandbook.com. So how many shoes do we I think? Mean, if it's a plus or minus three? We can calculate, oh. right? Because Yeah, it's, it uh, looks like we can calculate that. Yeah. Her I didn't. I was when he was when when she was reading it. I I was thinking. I didn't know that Bob Hope ran. <laughs> <laughs> he did in his so younger days. Alan, three hundred is fifty shoes is the high end, and then yeah, we're allowed to use calculators, right? I think so. <laughs> or otherwise, so just, oh, Forrest Gump ran 30, fifteen thousand two hundred forty-eight miles, but then. Uh, Bob Pope, and he ran 400 more miles. So then we're up to 15,648. So if she's talking shoes. about a, a plus minus of only three pairs, so it can't be that many shoes. Like 12 or something. Uh, I think we're looking at about 44 pairs of shoes. I mean, doing the math. That's right? that's, that's, a, that's, that's a, that's well, a lot if, for a plus minus three. If you use, oh, if you I use 500 no, miles. I don't think so. I don't either. If you, change the, if you change them every 500 miles, that would be like 30. Well, let's look. I did I did 350 right? as, as an example, and I got 44.7 shoes. So if I do by 500, that gets us 31.2 shoes. So we're in the middle. So, right. So, yeah, I mean, we can do the middle. Um, we divided by 400. 
we get 39 shoes, 39.1 shoes. So what do we like? 39. If we want to go the middle. Plus or minus three. Yeah, I mean, I, I we would, like 39? Well, I would guess that it probably is uh, closer to the high. To the high end or the cheap. low end? Like the low end, because he's probably didn't want to spend too much. Well, and you think shoes. about, yeah, you think about if you're buying 40 pairs of shoes, that's a decent chunk of change. He well, has to go to the store, the mall, and everything. Uh, he would be sponsored. They oh. would just provide them for him. Oh, you're no fun, Jane. I wanted to see him at the mall, <laughs> like going around and looking in the shop windows and everything. Man, I need another pair of shoes for today. Jeez, <laughs> open the doors. Come on. I got to get out on the road and run. But no, the gates are closed because they're at lunch. <laughs> so what do we think? Yeah. Do we like 39? That's kind of middle ground. Or do we want to, what do you guys think? 30, 39 gives us uh, 36 to 40, 42, right? Yep. Yes. That sound good to everybody? Yeah. Sure. Sure. All right. Did we I'm skip lost. anything? Nope. I think we got an answer for everything. We'll see how we, we do. we put 39? Uh, we put 39, correct. All right. Thank you guys for being on the team because I, I didn't know anything. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, oh, marathon stuff? I'm going to have no clue. <laughs> oh, nice being around atheists. Aliens. <laughs> no, atheists. <laughs> atheists, no, it's not aliens. aliens. <laughs> aliens cause you to sneeze, Susan. Didn't you know? No, it's nice not having you go, bless you. Bless <laughs> you. But your heart stopped, Susan. I have to oh, bless you. I almost want Satan into my heart. My heart. <laughs> I wonder how everybody else is doing. Well, they don't have Romero on the team, so not probably very great. If you don't yeah. run, why would you know any of these? Because <laughs> you know somebody who runs, and you go visit, and you go, "Yay!" Go team, go. Go, Renner, go. Go, Renner, go. Romero, do you and Faith run together the same distance, the same pace, or do you run separately? We run separately. Because they want to stay married. But, <laughs> equal, but, equal, but equally. <laughs> separately, but equally. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I have a feeling that, that that would be bad if you ran together. never ran together, I don't know what would happen. Well, yeah, I would. I one would of think, them's always yelling at the other to hurry up. <laughs> well, yeah, I wouldn't think it would be good to run together because you would not be able to independently set your own pace and and judge your own, you know, limits and so forth. So it depends, though. Having a a partner to run with can also push you, you know, at least for, for training. You don't want it to be your spouse. No, I ran with a good good friend of mine, coworker, uh, for a while. But that makes didn't sense. Like do marathons, we just did, you know, ran a few miles, you know, exercise. So, I have a friend that I that I run with, and yeah, a friend you could do, but not no, not a spouse. All right, Faith, how are they everybody doing? How is it going in here? We're done. I mean, we have answers. I don't know if Romero did. Correct. Romero. I think he's he made he did you proud. Let's go. I want to see your answer. No, I don't. No, too too late. You'll have okay. you'll see. Because okay. we didn't know <laughs> we, spelled, we didn't spell everything correctly. They're spelled. No, different. our spelling's going to be terrible. But you know, we answered things. It's okay. It's right. call us back. Is everybody doing well? I, every, everybody, I think, is is kind of struggling. <laughs> oh. Well, they didn't have Romero on their team. I may have done this to to make sure we got a good lead from Carl. <laughs> <gasps> Don't admit that I in the room that's that being recorded. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I just I'm recorded. <laughs> no, well, you do the things that you you know, like like we said, Rob's that's, picking th things he you know I I would know. Well, that's how we get tell? variety. People what do what funny? they like is he told me that he started to get all these weird like rate recommendations to register for these weird races on like Facebook. 
and I had done these categories on my mm-hmm. work computer. And so I was like, the VPN is not working. Oh. <laughs> so interesting. Let me, let me check on everybody else. Okay. Well, you should close them anyway. Well, she's gone. Ooh. There's a there's a documentary on Netflix about the Barkley Marathon. Is that something you recommend or is it like <laughs> something you're just telling us? Because I, I mean, know. it's uh, if, yeah, I mean, if you run a little bit, I think you'll find it interesting. No, I I I swan swan swaddle. <laughs> Are you I mean, okay over there, Susan? You had a little too much to drink tonight. You know, I haven't had anything to drink. <laughs> My water water looked purple. You know, yeah. We watched something on TV the last pieces. couple of days. We binge watched Perry Mason. Oh, cool. HBO Max. Wait, is this the this is the new Perry Mason? Yeah. Show? How I, is it? Are you a fan of Perry Mason? I used to watch the original Perry Mason with my with my parents. Then you may not like this. Okay. It's different. Yeah, it's the backstory. They told it over. Here's the thing, Ben. I don't mind different interpretations. Some people freak out because well, remakes are not exactly like the original. Yeah, it's like, well, no, it's, gotta, it's eight shows. Okay, it's eight variety. shows, and I thought it would be eight stories finished in an hour. Right? Okay. You know? No, it's one story uh, in eight. Yeah. So it's a it's 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 good. Right. It's interesting. It's violent as hell. And there's oh, a wow. lot of sex in it, showing it. And well, yeah, because it's, it's uh, HBO. So yeah, yeah, and it's ex- ex- it's saying things, and I don't like that because it feels like they're doing it to titillize, you know. To mm. it's not natural. Yeah. It's like, right. oh well, let's put some more sex in here because you know our sexogram. You know, or we don't have enough F words in here or something, so we better. Yeah. Uh, I liked the characters are realistic, and I love that about when when I look at it and I can't see their the actor. I love that when they look like real people. You know, little heavy, little small, little yeah. big. You know, I love that. But they have a main character in there who is famous, and his voice is so famous. It's John Lith- Lith- Lithgow. Yeah. And I, it ruined it oh, because every time he opened his mouth, I, I kept seeing his character as I, as a, as an actor. So right. it's like that fourth wall and it doesn't feel right. I mean, I know these guys are really talented actors and maybe the name sells or anything, but the, it, it ruins it. It just ruins it whenever you can tell mm-hmm. it's them. The story's good, but it feels like they padded it a lot because they got into people's backstories and stuff. And then they stretched things out a little bit. And eight episodes is just too long to to tell this one story. They could have broken it up and um or told it in five. It just felt like they were padding it a little bit. So it depends. Yeah, it depends it on the good. show. I, went, I watched the end. I mean, I watched it in two days. Oh wow. I like Perry Mason. A lot of stuff seems to be going overall story for the season you know whereas like the shows in the 80s and stuff were more episodic you know so you know ben speaking of your background right there today yeah. on the daily the new york times daily the new york times uh film critic is quitting i don't know if you guys heard about this he's been around since 2000 working for the new york times as a film wow critic. and he's quitting and the reasons why he's quitting is partly because of the background you have there is that that he says since um the you know the genre of movies have changing because it's becoming a fan thing it's becoming right. a um what is it how do you call it like a uh like a theme like a, not a theme he used another word i don't remember but it was you can't you can it's not about the quality of the it's the popularity contest. It is popularity. Yeah, like right. it's a, like it's a um Disney, Pixar, right. all yeah. of the Avenger movies, all that stuff. It's like a uh it's they're not they're not quality writing and quality stories anymore. Formula. All about they're, they're now just um like action films that yes. audience, audience you know they're, they're just all for the same formula the same right. formula. Yeah. and so he said that's sequels part of the problem sequels and yeah. remakes it's and- all about the money it's a blockbuster 
And right. so he says, you know, I get it that people want to go see those things. But what happens is those things push out other stuff. When right. you have all that kind of thing, um, you don't get necessarily the independent stuff or the the smaller budget, even though they're right. not always small. He says that it does, it tends to push them out. And the other thing is, is that when you, he sees his role as a critic as somebody, he thinks of the critic's role as the person who goes to the movies with you when you're there by yourself. So they're the person you're having a conversation with about, you know, did you see that too? I didn't see that. Did you, you know? And so he says, when you get into that world, there's no, the fan base is not allowing any criticism necessarily. It's becoming a, <laughs> like you are, you know, you don't like it. Well, yeah. you, you know, yeah, it's a cancel no. culture. Right. Uh, I, I, feel like, I feel exactly the same way. I agree a hundred percent with everything that you just said that he said. I, well, I, I didn't make it up. Yeah. See, I think other... that's funny, though, because like mm -hmm. Carl and I will go see movies like, you know, what I have as my background, you know, or TV shows. We always nitpick stuff when we come out of it. We're always critics. And and but I also like watching. I watch the whole gamut, you know, like I watch the superhero, the popular sci fi stuff. But I love the independent, you know. Well, he's I really the... enjoyed I really enjoyed the whale. That was a that was. Oh, a that was movie. so good. Oh. Yeah. I got to write that down. He said that the other problem is these streaming services. And the reason why is because people can look at it for ages. But if you if 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 you had it in a theater, you'd go in the old days, you'd go to the theater to see it run a rush. I got to go see this because it's only going to be here for a few weeks. But now it's that, oh, I could see it whenever. And right. so he says that these people in these streaming services are competing in the same way the movies are. And it's 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 a different kind of I don't know anyway it was a really it's a New York Times article if you guys want to read it but I thought of, I had never thought of it before the critics role like this but it was really interesting the yeah it's tough because I've seen you know a lot of times where critics will just nitpick stuff to death and I'm kind of like sometimes I feel like they're just overly critical well, it I understand the critic, what their role if is if they're really good yeah. at if they right. have a a, a a track record that you've you've watched their you, uh, followed them for a long time a few streaming movies won oscars on the past yeah that's what he said yeah. yeah i saw everything everywhere all at once that was weird <laughs> all righty rue very good i think that we had a ringer on our team apparently recording is in progress so just to warn oh everybody. thank you vincent is it Thank you, Vincent. Susan, are you a ringer? <laughs> Not me. I told him. I told him I don't run. I waddle. <laughs> I was actually pretty impressed with some of the answers I saw. You guys were able to kind of logically think out some of these, so I'm impressed with Ooh, high praise information I was able to give. So, Hang in there, Rob. You can do it. Yeah, it's okay, Rob. I thought you were in our um, room. <laughs> Rob? So go what? for it. Okay. I'm gonna post all the answers in the chat after I'm done. Okay. Um the question one, the Barkley Marathon. If you're this is one of the toughest races ever. Um it's and I was trying to reiterate that with there was a six year period where nobody finished. Um no woman has ever actually been able to finish this race. Um and it was the guy who created it actually was inspired to see how far a human being could go when James Earl Ray escaped for, from prison and only got 12 miles in 24 hours. And he's like, oh, I could do 100 miles. And so this race was born and it's in Tennessee. Um, you basically climb Mount Everest twice and you have to finish it in 60 hours. And I think the record is like 53. Um, but the total number of finishers that they've had in this individual finishers, not duplicate, is 17. Well, they uh, had yes. it was, it was got it. 15. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. Only we had stuck with. <laughs> they, so what's our range? Um plus oh. or minus two. So I will get 15 to 19. Yeah. We're we had 15. Oh, we were close. Um, we were so close. <laughs> yeah, That's why I she was laughing. That, we said I think somebody had laughing. said 40, and I was just like. I, I, yeah, I wish, I wish 40. <laughs> is this where they have to 
what is carrying Charles Barkley on their back? No, this is this is where they're given. So, like, you're given race bib one. You're considered the human sacrifice because the race director believes you won't finish, um, <laughs> and you have to basically navigate around terrain and find books at specific checkpoints. You use orienteering to find it, and you rip out the page that corresponds to the bib number you're given for the loop that you're doing. And so it's it's an insane race. One guy missed the finish time by six seconds a few years ago. Thank so it, it's that's why they call it. The, there's a documentary on Netflix called "The Race That Eats Its Young." If you if you're interested in seeing what this does, but I I will never probably do that race. Um, the Badwater 135 um, in question two. Um, the uh, Badwater Basin is actually, I think, 285 feet below sea level. The <laughs> highest recorded temperature is actually 134, not 135. <laughs> um, there is, I'm not sure what the race limit is for participants, but they do run this race over the 4th of July weekend, and they start the race at about 10 o'clock or midnight. So in the coolest part of the day, mm -hmm. but th the answer is D because Badwater Basin to the um, trailhead at Mount Whitney is 135 miles. Is, that, I, what, is that what we put, Carl? Because I just wrote 135. Yeah. 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 That is a race I might like to do. Um, question three the marathon, the Sable Marathon of Sands is, I saw some of you guys rationalize this out. It's a French word, probably French speaking country. And yes, it is ran in Morocco in the Sahara Desert. Oh, good. So yes. if you were able to. Yes. figure that out um the four deserts ultra marathon series um that it is um the i want to say the race order is the gobi the nambib the atacama crossing and then you run in antarctica <laughs> whoa <laughs> yes <laughs> So they call that the last desert stage. And if you don't finish the other desert stages, you can't progress. Uh, this would be, I, I watched a documentary where somebody did this uh -huh. and it's, it's extremely grueling what they put themselves through. I think people were eating packages of Oreo cookies just to keep their body weight up. Um, <laughs> Horrible. Oh, that's barbaric. Horrible. Without it's milk. It's insanely expensive, <laughs> but this this would be something if I ever had the physical fortitude to do, I would probably want to try it. <laughs> Is there no God? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or it's without even, milk, I'm telling you. That's crazier cool. one. So the so, ultra marathon, what? So, so yeah, so is the desert in the, on the continent of Antarctica called the Antarctica? It's called the Antarctic Desert. Remember, desert, we have yeah. this question: What is the largest desert yeah, in my area? It's the Antarctic. Yeah, that's come on, place. Rob. That and was on why episode one thirty. Mm. <laughs> that's why all of these, all of those deserts are actually. I didn't want to specify a country because one of them isn't in a country. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> And the others do cross more than two international borders. Mm. So the Atacama crossing, I think, is actually in Peru and Chile. And it's interesting, it's interesting the desert terrain. Like you do ice desert, mountainous desert, if that's a, such a thing. Um, but it's it's interesting the terrain. Um, so question five, the ultra marathon that inspired the belt buckles. Um, that is considered the Boston Marathon of trail running is B, Western State. Oh. All right, Romero. Did we get oh. I think we got that. <laughs> all, all of those races, so shocked. all of these 100 mile races are considered the grand slam of ultra running. Um, like Leadville is hard to get into and Vermont and Old Dominion I wasn't familiar with, but those are um, some of the oldest races. Um, so question six. Uh, the one race that has it, um, that you run alongside horses, this is the only 100-mile um, ultra race that still has this. I guess this was a thing, but it is the Vermont 100-mile endurance race. Oh, my God. Yeah. Woo. What ladder? Romero. What ladder? C. The C. 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 C is in kitty. <laughs> yes, the cat is in here with me, and I didn't know that. <laughs> you know, lady. So the Sparta, Spartathlon, um, the Athenian runner, I know some of you guys are saying Nike. It is actually not Nike. Um, it is oh, I didn't think of him. 
Fidipies or Fidipies. I can't remember how to pronounce it. Jane Fidipides. can pronounce it. Yay, Jane. Yeah. Whoa. Jane knows it. So Carl. we put Zorba. So <laughs> it was good that was the only name Caspian could remember for his group. No, yeah, Caspian. Thank you, Jane. Nike is what he yelled and died. No, actually, what, what he yelled was, um, they believe, was joy. Joy, it is like over or something like that. Joy, I, I thought it was victory. Nike. No, it was joy. Nike said victory, but F Fedepi said joy. And he was wearing Adidas. No, yes. Nike means victory. <laughs> what, Nike what? means victory. I know Nike means victory, but that's not what he he said. Joy, from what I could find on Wikipedia. Were you but there? What made <laughs> what makes me happy about this is I've actually run a faster marathon than he did. <laughs> yeah, you had it shoes. Took him a day. Yeah, he had to do it barefoot over rock. It doesn't matter. It took him a day. <laughs> You know, it took me six and some I'm chance. proud of you. And probably had nobody yeah. handling a water on the way either. Nobody was handing me water either. Well done, what? Faith. What? Well and done. And he did it in <laughs> armor. So number eight, um, the Boston Marathon. I think Ramiro has to admit, run a 305. I have to run a 340. I mean, we were talking earlier today about how I actually might try to see if I can get my time down to do the Boston. Um, and the mythical animal that's on all its logos is the unicorn. Oh, almost, Yay. almost. Mm -hmm. and it's who says they're mythical hmm? <laughs> says they're mythical they're mythical but um it, and it's and that race actually occurs on the third monday in april on patriot day so it's one mm -hmm. of the weird ones where they run it on a weekday and not on a weekend um, but it isn't insanely hard to get into except last year they did it in september did well the covid but yeah, COVID screwed it's, it's up. Occur it's occurring in like three or four weeks. So um, the Marathon March, um, I actually read this book while training for a marathon and I found it very inspiring. Um, but the author is Stephen King. Um, it is, it is they reasoned that out because they know you're a big fan of Stephen King. Yay, yeah. Bill. <laughs> Our team said, I bet it's Stephen King because she's yeah, a fan of Stephen King. It's, it's one of his better books, the way that it ends. It actually ends pretty well. Um, and they're not all dead, eaten by snakes or something. No, they're not the end. Spoiler, la, 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 la. La. I'm not going to tell you how. La, la, la. Remember, it's the last stand man. man um, and there's several death march races. Um, but this one, like, they have a porter <laughs> that you get to use every six hours. <laughs> and, right, I'm muting you. I'm muting you. You're muted. <laughs> <laughs> She's still talking. I'm not talking about the book. I'm talking about the Swedish race. Uh, I think that one, the longest that one has gone, I think, is over 80 hours. Um, and that's fine. Don't they have anything better to do? I, I, it's, <laughs> no, running is fun. Doing stuff like this is fun. I don't mm. see why you don't like it. I was on my track oh, team in high school. And out I, was of shape. My, I was on my track it's team okay. in high school and I quit after two weeks. So, Number 10, I thought was really interesting. And I actually did the math on this. Um, he actually, he said that he went through 33 pairs of shoes. Oh. So, yeah. Woo! 30 to 36. Good job. Good job. He Good math, down, Kyle. Yeah, he spent roughly about $4,500 to about $5,600 on shoes just to do this. You sure it wasn't donated? It could have been donated, but um, my running shoes, most running shoes, um, we spend, how much do you think we spend on running shoes a year, Ramirez? About $300 for two pairs. And how do they wear out, Faith? What, um, what does... they're, they're like tires on your car. So they recommend that you don't put more than three to 500 miles on your running shoes because the tread co goes down and everything wears and the structure changes. So like I've, I will change my shoes out once I start to kind of look at the tread and realize my feet are hurting a little bit more. What um, brand of shoes do you wear, Faith? I wear Brooks. I have Brooks, but I don't run. Can <laughs> <laughs> you waddle, Jane? We need to go waddling. Then they will last forever. Fine. Yeah, my I've shoes, heard Brooks are really good. <laughs> it's what it your feet. I used to wear a brand called Mizuno from Japan until my foot size changed. And then like Ramiro and I wear, oh, Ramiro and I can wear the same exact size shoes and the same brand and model. So, 
What was the real race where the friends they made along the way? What is that about? Cass, I didn't, I missed that. If you don't understand, you never will. <laughs> Kids. So I want to see Faith buy the hot pink shoes and then have Romero wear those on the ball running. He would look awesome in hot pink. I'm sure he would. Yeah. Here we go. Scores. I'm moving. And I put the pronunciation of foot of pies in there. <laughs> All right. So we've got not like last week. Look at last week. Look at this. 36, 36, 36, 35, and 33. So this is going to be interesting. Let's go with um, two Canadians. Oh, my. Ten. Woohoo! <laughs> we had five. <laughs> oh, my goodness, you guys. <laughs> children, I tell you, there's, thir there's children here. Uh, we played for more time. Six. Six. Yeah. All right. And then I tried to cook dinner, but my broiler went down. Nine. Ooh. Which oh, one did you holy. get wrong? Uh, the, the shoes, shoes because Number it was 10. 300 to 500 miles so we just estimated on the higher side unfortunately <laughs> okay put a, what about brian dunning's face eight uh, eight oh that's good um and last but not least stormy daniels to the rescue who's been in the little he had nine oh, oh, wow. <laughs> damn well i thought this was going to be a, a, a lighthouse category I thought so too. If it was me, it would have been. I scored one point. Yeah. If I would have been had one. I, I knew nothing of running, but I knew Stephen King. I would have. So, I would have just left the room and just come back when they were done. It was fun, guys. See you and next time. Thanks a lot. Bye, Bye, Bye Carolyn. Good, Good round. Job. Maybe Bye. the world's pleasure was the. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay. The lighthouse category. All right. So we have our next candidate who's up for treasure. Thank you. Thank you very much, Faith. You're welcome. For keeping it anything. different. I appreciate that. So next up is Kevin. Yep. It's a so sports it's category. Lighthouses? Sports. No lighthouses. That was just what? a no mystery. I'm out of here. No mystery. I I'll name the athlete. You name the sport they play. Uh, name several athletes. I mean, yay. At least one. <laughs> At least one. Uh, cool. Some of the questions might have only one. But. Karen, how come you say that's a wonderful category, Karen? <laughs> All right, muting in three, two, one. Unmute, you. Unmute yourself, Kevin. That's number one. I name the athlete, you name the sport they play. Number one, Durant, Garnett, McHale, Love, and Duckworth. Name the sport. I'm going to do two at a time now. Number oh, two. Okay. They get progressively harder, I think. Number two, De Bruyne, Trap, Keegan. Number three, Nash, Owens, or Steen. That's kind of a hint. Sullivan, Von Erich. Number four, Millar, Euclid, Brown, Mitchell. I, just no, just no. FYI, everybody, I like the speed of getting them in here like this. this is great. Okay. Easy to go. We get through this category fast. All right. Yep. Number five, Shattered, Kirk, and Lowe. I don't necessarily know all these guys, but, you know. Number they six. all guys then, huh? Uh, maybe not. People. I should have said people. Number six, Falk, Kolb, Williams, Mack. Number seven, Havoc, LePage, Kogan, and Conway. Now the next three are a little bit tougher. <laughs> so what you're saying is these first few were not tough, is what you're trying to tell us. Yes. Oh my God. Number this eight, is lighthouses. Kissner, <laughs> number eight, Kistner and Steelman. Give me number some more nine, marathon questions. Anderson and Curran. <laughs> and number 10, by himself, McBride. I'll give you a hint. McBride. Is not a bride. Um, is from Dorchester, Massachusetts. No, he's only true. famous. He's only famous for what he did. Lobster fishing for the sport. Mick McBride was the first person ever to do competitive lobster fishing. And the maneuvering uh, unit uh, out of the it shuttle is, cargo bay. There's so more information. Know. There's more information. Oh, oh, we have they more. All they're all different sports or 
athletes in sports. Kind of, you know what I mean? Oh, so no sport right. no no. You think I can name 10 sports? Wait, so. <laughs> so Kevin, Kevin, you Underwater mean water basket weaving. Uh, of the 10 answers, none of them repeat. Is that what you're saying? None of them yes. repeat. That's no correct. sport repeats, you guys. Okay. Sinister rooms. We can how come how come we can no guess Fred random Lenikoff. sports? <laughs> We're ready to come back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to write golf on all 10. What are you talking about? Bill, you are in room two. Two, right? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. I have none. One name is familiar. I'm so excited that I know one. And I, and I think Team. I just figured out another one. Yeah. You guys know these? Not at Somebody all. Does something, uh, not me. Okay, let's Paul, name Paul, sports. Paul, Kyle Paul and I will name sports. <laughs> okay, no, so which one do you have, Janine? What Paul knows. Okay, Paul what knows. I all right, know Paul. Is six. All right. Six is uh, baseball. Um, no, that's that's no, football. I'm wrong. Okay, <laughs> let's start at the beginning. Okay, start the beginning. I'll write them in here, Mike. Okay. So. okay, number one is basketball. Kevin okay. McHale, Kevin Durant, Kevin Duckworth. Are they all named Kevin? Yeah, okay. two and three, I'm not sure. Are these all Kevins? Two no. might be Doctor <laughs> Who companions. <laughs> <laughs> well, wasn't it? Ke Keegan was one of his companions, right? Right. Okay, if all those fellows are Doctor Who companions, it's a sport now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, so you said two and three, you don't know, Ron? Those I'm not sure of. Okay. Four, I'm pretty sure, is baseball. Four. Are they all Kevins? Oh. Really? No. Oh. Okay. Uh, five is definitely hockey. It's Kevin Shatton, Kirk, and Kevin Lowe. So they may all be Kevins, I think about it. Because <laughs> oh, Kevin Euclid is the baseball Kevin, player. Kevin just means that you play a sport. <laughs> your name kevin you have it's to like an it. adjective in front of the last name okay <laughs> uh, okay the six so i think it's what, only because of cold that i thought it was football kevin mac kevin williams kevin cobb and kevin falk who are they i was thinking ted williams no these are all kevin's but i'm pretty <laughs> sure number four euclid is a baseball player i think he's actually canadian a Okay, okay, so number and five. And I think it was a Kevin, too. It's hockey. Six is what? I think that's football. Are they all okay? And seven, seven, seven is ra racing. What kind of racing? I don't know if we need to go any more than well, I Well, is sure it horses? Which... Is it? Oh, I think it's it's car racing. I'm pretty sure Kevin Harvick is that's a, a sport. Uh... Yeah. You, you never heard of NASCAR? Yeah, but I thought it was just a moneymaker thing. And well, it is, but that's what sport is. What's the difference? Well, I didn't think of it as a. Well, I guess it is. Okay, it's not like an Olympic team or something. So you think no. all of these people actually do have Kevin as a first? Well, I, yeah. now I'm looking at all the ones that I recognize. I know, like number five, it's Kevin Shattenkirk and Kevin Lowe. Kevin Kisner are, are and Kevin Streelman. And Kevin Streelman, they're golfers. Golf. So yeah, that's eight, so eight glad you're here, Ron. <laughs> that means six is not Ted Williams. <laughs> no. Uh, no. So Kevin has a name. Kevin Kirk changes. Kevin's okay. doing the theme. Kevin's doing the round. So you know they're all Kevins because that's him. That's the way you pick something. Yeah, There's a lot of sports figures to pick from. So you just picked all I the can I can believe that with Kevin. Okay, yeah. eight. What did you say, Ron? This the social eight, eight is, thing is all about psycho golf. psychology of our other team members. Golf. Nine. Okay. And Unfortunately, nine. nine and ten. I I don't. Who's Kevin, Kevin McBride? Sounds like a that country name is singer. so familiar. Other than this, I oh, keep yeah. thinking it's okay. Different. Well, there's only so many sports. Is he a volleyball player? Speak up. Could be. I don't know any. Okay. Did you know some Lynn. Lynn? What's that? Did you know one? Well, you know, I was thinking uh, nine might the one. Curran might be an F1 racer, but we already have racing. So yeah. uh, racing. could Kevin be NASCAR Curran. and Formula One are different, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I'm not sure, but I'm not sure of it. Is so. it a Kevin now? Yeah. So racing. Kevin, I'm not sure. Okay, so we know these are all women. Now I mean, I will say 
that we can't we can put the same thing down twice yes if we don't know because we yeah. might be right on one or the other okay so there's four spots open name four sports we haven't had on here because there can't well, we haven't we haven't well, had boxing i don't see any soccer Oh, soccer. Oh, soccer. I can't believe there's not a soccer. It wishes My father doesn't at consider that a sport. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, uh, soccer. I was looking at number three, possibly. How about they swimming? Look like a, they look like European swimming. names. Swimming? Or like a track and field? Is that a well, sport? Yeah, he both there was a famous runner named Jesse Owens, but that's not he Kevin. That's the only one I know, and his name ain't Kevin. <laughs> And um, I don't understand the Owens or Steen thing. I don't either, except that at no. the same time, we had a cat named Owen and a dog named Steens. <laughs> he said Steen. Coincidence? He said, or no? he said, oh, he said oh. Steen is a hint. Well, it could be a woman who changed her last name when she got married. Mm. No. Named Kevin? It could be. No, yeah, Kevin. you're right. You're right. But Kevin, not named that Kevin. Not a lot of ladies named How about Kevin? that swimmer oh. that changed, changed, it was a uh from male to female could they've changed their last name too if you uh, the last it, name it seems was. easier to change why not yeah well could they be kevin and now they're kendra or something could be yeah. i don't know yeah. and that's why it's a hint hmm. kevin owens changed her name to kendra steen i don't know that doesn't help with the sport. <laughs> and no, because it's a swimmer. If it's the one I'm thinking of, that's that oh. one that's really controversial. I don't. I've heard the person's name, and I don't remember what it is. I don't think it's Owens or Steen, but I, I don't know. But that would explain why it would change, because they're yeah, probably yeah. all Kevin's, the and so it wouldn't it change if his last name of getting married, unless like I changed last name. Somehow number two is making me think volleyball because of Kevin Keegan, but I'm not sure why. Well, okay. let's put what it else? down. Let's put it down. What else? What other sports are out there? Oh, we still don't have uh, soccer in there. So. Okay. Could there be a Kevin McBride is a soccer player? Well, he said he's famous for one thing and one thing only. And I'm trying to think of what kind of sport. We also that don't have such boxing. an odd statement. Oh, wasn't there? A soccer player that died recently who was famous for one thing. Pele. Okay. Well, yeah, I think I'm That's thinking Pele. Pele. Pele was not, not Kevin. Was he famous for only one thing? Well, he's famous for being the best soccer player in the history of, all time. of soccer. Yeah, that's but... not the one we're thinking of. Um, mm -hmm. There was somebody else who recently died who did one thing like they died a bat or something no. he was a soccer player I'm, we don't have 10 yet right Is that what we're we don't have nine or ten i'm thinking so what, a soccer player what, but what i was think the hint that about that was, 10 what was the, the, hint, the hint on 10 was that mcbride was famous for one thing did they well, say aren't they McBride... all famous for one thing? Right. They it was such a Mc... strange thing. Did they yeah. say where McBride came from? Or were no, there... no additional hints. I that. thought there was some other information on McBride, but I can't pull it up in my head here. No, well, I maybe there was something so. about New Hampshire. I can't remember. Massachusetts. Oh, yeah. And he was from about some town in Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Uh, oh. I do remember that now, and I don't. He can't be famous for that because he's only famous for one thing. <laughs> well, yeah. what, what sport would be popular in uh, Massachusetts? Uh, Massachusetts. Uh, ice hockey, fist fights, <laughs> marathon, <laughs> marathon running, eating, eating, eating <laughs> beer. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's the Boston Marathon. Maybe he is a runner. Something to do with uh, the the Boston Marathon. Could be boxing, maybe. Well, I was looking and at nine for also, that. But don't ask okay, me why. yeah, yeah, keep that because I don't know much about it. There's also like ice hockey, not ice hockey. What's the other? Well, there's field hockey. How about figures? Yeah, but then there's the ones where they use the cups that on lacrosse? the ice. lacrosse. That lacrosse, was, yeah. Yeah, there's lacrosse. I've never heard of anybody in lacrosse, and it's Canada's national sport. 
Really? And you don't know anybody in right. it? Well, it was me. I played for my high school team. But, you know. Well, there you go. If it was Steiner, we'd know the answer. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I like Ra Runner uh, for for ten. Yeah, yeah. Okay, ten is a guy who runs. And I don't know why, but I'm thinking nine is boxing. boxing. But that's because I'm running out of of sports. Okay, so we have two sports to come up with: two and three. Well, we have two, yeah, I mean, two. Soccer. I said volleyball, but don't ask me why. In three, I was thinking soccer. How about bowling? Is that a sport? Oh yeah, but yeah. I, Kevin seems like the name of people who would bowl. Yeah. With a beer. I like three for soccer. Yeah, yeah that I was good. That's yeah, I think so. I use actually I think soccer bowling. needs to be. We figured out your little your little thing over here, Mr. Kevin. What did you figure out? That they're all Kevin's. Kevin. Oh my <laughs> god, you're the first team to, to get that. <laughs> oh, we got that a long time ago. Well, Ron, what? Ron started going. Well, uh, there's Kevin so and so and Kevin so and so and Kevin so and so. I said, "Are they all Kevins?" And they're like, "No, they can't well, all be Kevins." I said, "This congratulations, is congratulations, team." I said, "The guy who made this category." It was number category. five. It, it was number five that really hit it because I mean, I I'm a hockey fan, and I saw Kevin Shattenkirk. Wait a minute, and Kevin Lowe. And then I started going back and looking. Kevin Kistner, Kevin Streelman. I know that. Kevin Kevin. I think do we have a pattern here? Kevin, it's 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 as I as I keep saying, this game is not so much about trivia. It's about psychology of the people who write the questions. You know, I you get to know Kevin, you people. The last time I did it, I did the Kevin category, right? Remember? And I told you I had much more to go. You should have remembered that my next time I had more Kevin questions. I just decided today to leave that bit of information off. Oh, you're bad. <laughs> you're cruel. People are going to be mad. No, I, well, other people you guys should figure it out. Though. So you and know, nobody else, people nobody figured else it has out? figured this out? So far, I, I think I'm going to the last room to check. Well, you got 96 seconds. Good job, everybody. You guys are awesome. For a team that I would have just yeah. put down, I, I would have been going, should I just put baseball in every <laughs> so, get one right. That would have been a goose egg on this. You know, we stuff. don't know how many we've gotten right yet. So okay, no, come on, Kyle. Sure. You would have, you would have, you would have put one category, all the same thing. So you know, you would have gotten one point. It wouldn't be. I know we got five for sure. Okay. No, we had a ringer. It starts going downhill after. That. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I mean, there's only so many sports, and I mean, sports. How about chess? Is that a sport? That's a sport. Yeah. Could there be a chess player here? I don't see anything that's got Wait, Russian. It. It's got to be Russian names at the end of these, I think. I For at least a few, it. yeah. Except there aren't a lot of Russian Kevins. Yeah, yeah. there aren't too many Kevins. That are Kevuncha. Kevin Kevincha. I think we can eliminate women's sports. Yeah. See, and it's because I said, oh, they're all guys, huh? And he said, oh, I should have said people. And I'm like, nah. <laughs> Which, that was another hint that it was going to be all men. So, mm hmm. Unless they're unless it's Steed and that changed the gender. Yeah. To Kendra. What would you name change your name to if your name is Kevin and you wanted to be a female and you want to name similar? I want to change my name anyway. I've never identified with my name. <laughs> you know, I don't like Susan. I'm I'm more of a girl. I identify with Susan as my middle name. Oh. Well, I'm a girl. We're back. We're back. Two teams figured out my method to my madness. That you know of. That I know of. Maybe somebody else did. I'll give you the answers. Number one, Kevin Durant, Kevin Garnett, Kevin McHale, Kevin Love, and Kevin Duckworth all play basketball. Number two, <laughs> Kevin DeBrun, Kevin Trapp, and Kevin, Kevin Keegan all play soccer. Kevin. Ooh. Damn you. Number Darn. three, Kevin Nash, Kevin Owens, and then he changed his name to Kevin Steen. And Kevin Sullivan and Kevin Von Eric, all wrestlers. I sense a pattern. <laughs> oh, my God. Why did he change his name to Steen? We thought Girls. it was a transgender person. Number four, <laughs> Kevin Millar. I even said Millar, like from Boston, Millar. Kevin Euclid, also from Boston. Kevin Brown, also from Boston. And so Kevin they're Mitchell. champion hot dog baseball, eaters? Baseball players. From, okay, and, one more. I think most of them were Red Sox, not all of them. In, 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 fair, in fairness, Kevin, you pronounce a lot of words like they're from Boston. 
Is yeah. there anyone right. in Boston who is not named Kevin? <laughs> so, well, uh, number five, Kevin Shattenkirk and Kevin Lowe are hockey players. Yeah. Nice. Number six, Kevin Falk, Kevin Kolb, Kevin Williams, Kevin Mack all play American football. Uh. Number seven is a tough one. Kevin Harvick, Kevin LePage, Kevin Coogan, Kevin Conway are all race car drivers. Yes! Oh! Oh! Ah Number eight, Kevin Kistner and Kevin Streelman are golfers. Okay. Number nine, Kevin Anderson, Kevin Curran, tennis players. Oh, that's wrong. Oh, that's and number 10, Kevin McBride, Dorchester Mass. Anybody get the what he did? Boxer. Boxing. The boxer who ended Mike Tyson's career. Oh, oh, wow. oh, oh no. he didn't Mike bite Tyson. his ear off. No, he's the last <laughs> person Mike Tyson faced. Uh, in, in a real uh, fight that wasn't a, a you know a fake fight you know what i mean Did simon and garfunkel do a song about him no he knocked but him out though he knocked out mike tyson so you had to pick everybody with the first name kevin huh yes because okay. last time i did i did the kevin category and i said i had more and you guys forgot that i said that so i just said hmm. i'll leave off that <laughs> it wouldn't have mattered but Sorry. I got more for the next my, time. My That's cat was wandering across the queue. You, you need a carrot in front of your tree. It makes a little heart. <laughs> That's awesome, Rob. <laughs> I don't know how he just did hey, three. So your your cat is an official uh, official <laughs> player now. That's a left guy. Yeah, put, put, put him on the Kevin spreadsheet. And he's disgruntled. It's not a carrot. The cat was just guy. putting up his score. <laughs> no, no, it's Kevin, not a work Yo score. Yo Kills? Euclid. Euclid. The Greek god of walks? Yeah, 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 Euclid yes, wasn't it Euclid's on Milwaukee? Yeah. He, uh, if yeah, if you had told us... The Boston, uh, system. Exactly if Red you Sox had told Boston. us that the first name of all those people was Kevin, <laughs> it wouldn't have made... <laughs> <laughs> wait, till, wait, till I do, exactly. wait till I do famous uh, Leonard's in sports. Ooh. And still wouldn't have made any difference. Oh, <laughs> He's going to go look it up now, so he'll do really well. All right, let's get over to our score, score, score. Oh, I have to work in a round where the answer is Leonard Part Six. <laughs> <laughs> One movie I know about. <laughs> is that like a thing? Because I have no idea what that yeah, means. Bill, that's Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby. It's Cosby. a really Bad horrible movie. movie. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad I really missed it. I, I'm glad I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so let's go over here to two Canadians. Oh my. Him. Wow. <laughs> no, Did we you really? Are we all this time? <laughs> we had three. Oh, oh, that's a stunning character. <laughs> I know. He's trying really hard, though. All right. We played for more time. Six. Six. Okay. Six. Well, you're almost tied now. <laughs> All right. The face of somebody who's got a group, whatever. With a coin. Yeah. Ten. Quite amazingly, 10. Wow. Because they figured out Kevin, huh? Yeah, no, no, Rob, Rob got all those answers. Oh, no, I got zero. Yeah, huh? <laughs> Why do you believe his him cat, when they say ten? His cat walked across the keyboard. <laughs> That's <and> believable. <laughs> uh, okay, the dinner cookers. Nine. Wow. <laughs> we we had uh, most of the right sports. They just weren't for the right people. <laughs> <laughs> Throw me Daniels to the rescue. We had an amazing eight. Oh, it is amazing. That's actually really good. Whoa! Yeah, I, I, we didn't. We, we are doing the best guessing. Over I want to the, thank I'm Team One for not keeping me. The team I'm the on is doing the best guessing I've ever seen. All right, Mike Wolf, you're on Team One. Woohoo! Come back, Mike. <laughs> Please come back. help them. They need it so bad. It's a comeback, Mike. You can yeah. do it. You you can yeah, do it. You got it. You got to get 15 or something. You know there should be. A way That's right. That. Get 10, or you can move from fifth until. We should do Jeopardy rules. So you get to bet how many points you want on this last round. <laughs> no, that Final was Jeopardy. too much strategy and all that. Okay. People end up with negative numbers. No. <laughs> I want to be able to do it. If so we're not playing for money. We could do it. So we could get neg negative numbers, or we could do it so that, so that a last place team could could simply <laughs> too late board. at night to think that hard. Well, somebody yeah. figure it out, and we'll talk, and then we'll argue about it, and then <laughs> yeah, that's guaranteed. <laughs> All right. So, Carl. But hit us with your bonus. All right. Uh, it's a relatively easy one. Uh -huh. Okay. I, mean, I think it so is. We're all going to tank now. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, despite the fact that there are 13 stars on what people call the Confederate flag, there are actually 11 states that are recognized as having been 
part of the Confederate Ooh. States of America that seceded from the Union. Name yeah. any 10 of the 11 states that seceded from the Union. Manos rules? I have to. Nope. <laughs> any 10 of the 11. Yes. Just go ahead and just give us 10. <laughs> there wow. you go. Okay. All right. F E D E R. -E. Around. Okay, let's go. Mike, you're going to go into one. South Carolina, Georgia. Yeah, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Virginia, Alabama, Mississippi, Arkansas, Louisiana, Louisiana. What about Florida? Florida, well, that, yes. That wasn't, that, I didn't that wasn't a state. Uh, that was a state. state at the time. That was a state at that time? Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Virginia. How about Tennessee? Yeah, how come we don't have, we don't have. I'm on mute. I've been saying Texas. I don't, I don't have, remember if Tennessee was, but Texas absolutely was. How do we not have Virginia here? It's in there. Oh. No, did Virginia? That's it. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think that's all of all right. them except Tennessee, and we don't need it. Okay. Wow, that was hard. Right. Well, Tennessee was considered the volunteer state. They used to like send one of their sons north and one of them south. So I'm not sure they seceded. Tennessee, oh. yeah, I'm not sure either. Tennessee is complicated. <laughs> well, I said there was 13 they stars. I wish they would have seceded. Hmm. The 13 stars is irrelevant. Well, I thought it meant that it was 13. Blamed, I believe. That was related to when it was first, like, a, a colony. Yeah. Right. And this is talking about the conceding. Well, that's interesting, though. I, didn't, I did not realize that stars did not correspond to the actual number of seceding states. No, the stars were the first 13 ter um I forget what Yeah, I hear what you're colonies. saying. The colon you're saying yeah. they reflected the 13 colonies. Yeah, which were like Massachusetts. 100 New years York, before, so that's kind of weird. But why is that the, uh, why, I don't understand with, why it would be on the Confederate flag. I, I, I guess they're they were the saying states. they're the real America, I guess. I don't but know. they're not the same states. That doesn't no, make not. sense. That's weird. I two different that. flags for two different reasons in two different what? Yeah, I know we know that, but the point is, why would they have done that in the mid eighteen hundreds to go back to the to the, to the you know revolutionary era and say we're going to put the same number of stars on our on our flag that the colonies originally had, which because weren't because they're trying to uh, evoke the American Revolution. Yeah, I guess that's the only thing I was thinking of. Yeah, like yeah. yeah. It, Same thing as the it knuckleheads. It still who, seems like they could have put ten stars and just had the flag look yeah, like one from the colonies. Weird. I'm not actually sure if the Confederacy had an official national flag. Hmm. I know they. What's usually referred to as the Confederate the, the, flag, the, the is battle, the battle flag of the Army of yeah. Virginia. Yeah. So that was an army flag. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. I don't Troy, that. what's what part of the world are you in? I'm in Kentucky. Oh. So, so Carl, this this was in Kentucky? Didn't Kentucky, Kentucky what is in that one of the Confederate states? No. Well no, they're, 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 both Kentucky and Tennessee were kind of like on the line and they had uh, you know, half the people liked the South and half the people liked the North and so Kansas was the bloody state, right? That was the bloody Kansas. Bloody huh? Kansas. Bleeding Kansas, sorry. Oh. But that and, was pre-war. And Missouri was um Missouri had a nasty internal conflict as well. There were Wasn't it on the line or something with a, Yes, it, there mm. were there were um pro-union and pro-confederate. I think there were competing governments actually state governments Ooh. or at least claims god do you think we had a pro I, we have a problem I, I now have knowledge, about what it was like then. carl is everybody is this just too easy for everybody uh who who opened the breakout room not me someone rob did. did i see rob with that smirk 
He's got that smirk. This is too freaking easy. I mean, it was everyone, easy. Everyone's going to get 10 or at least nine. Yeah, Carl. Yeah, you torpedo the team, Carl. Way to no, go, Carl. no way we're going to catch up three points on this one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, I could have done one of the really hard ones that I yes. had. Yes. I mean, would have had a shot. Thank you, Carl. Uh, well, <laughs> Carl gave us so many oh, of the other was... answers. I can't complain too much about all the other Yeah, right. Every, every once in a while, you got to give people an easy round. Come on. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too competitive. Um, well, since, you're du since you're done with your scores uh, and you're not going to change your answers. No. no. M Missouri stayed with the union. It, Missouri held a statewide referendum that overwhelmingly voted to stay in the union, and then the governor tried to take it into the Confederacy anyway. Mm -hmm. And then Missouri called for help and had the Union soldiers chase away the governor and the legislature. Ooh, wait, uh, we don't we, we don't have Missouri, do we? No, no. no MS is Mississippi. Yeah, right. in California, there was a movement, a pro-Confederate movement, to split the state along uh, oh. the essentially the mason dixon line and have a pro-slavery south, south california wow they're always trying to split us because we're so big so it's, yeah. it's always well something. we were weren't that populous at the time there were just a lot of confederate sympathizers in southern california especially still are interesting even now they want where we live is essentially at the mason dixon line it would mm. hit um the pacific just south of carmel yeah mm. Wow, can you imagine being on the line? Ten seconds. Mm -hmm. Good okay. job, team. Good luck. Yeah. Very happy. We were complaining it was too easy. Unless you guys all suck. The, the, trouble is, the trouble with having an easy bonus is it makes it impossible if you're yeah, a few yeah. points behind yeah, to yeah. ever catch up. Yeah. Right. That's Why is that a problem? I think they're Are you in the lead, Leonard? He, he's in the leading team. That's We're cool. never going to catch up team. with this one. What about whoever says uh, their score first? You're the only one that can have that score. <laughs> <laughs> mono scores. Mono scoring. Mono we do mono rules for the, for the right, 11 of the 10. Team five score first. <laughs> and I have been to eight out of these 11 states. Yeah, well, you're, in the, you're in the South. We're going to do the accent for it. What Deborah? I said if we if we're gonna do that, we have to start with the highest scoring team. That's right. <laughs> so if they say ten, then nobody else can have a ten. Are you on that team? No, you're on no, that. No, I think Deborah, you have to start with the lowest scoring and try to. Deborah's Deborah's being fair. Thank you, Deborah. <laughs> Just because you're on the winning team so far, Mister Mister Tremel. Even one's gonna make a big comeback. I can predict it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who? It's all relative, team one. It's all very team one? I'm, I'm feeling my psychics, my yeah. psychic frenzy. Well, this is gonna be scary. Okay, well, I'll I'll show he you. Could have, he could have demanded that we spelled everything right. No. Oh, that's yeah. true. That would hurt. Wait, we haven't gotten the answers yet. Let's oh, we'll everybody knows the answers. <laughs> yeah. Y'all got Just 10. Really? 10 for everything. 10 for everyone. No, okay, everyone go ahead, Carl. No, First day to succeed on December 20th. 1860. I think you should have big Latin. With South Carolina. Or in song. They were, we're followed some history by here. Mississippi. Yeah, my crooked letter, crooked letter. Followed by Florida. Florida. Oh, my Florida. birthday. That's when That's Rubio was there, there, huh? It's it was then followed by Alabama. 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 Georgia. Bama. Georgia, next. Georgia. Georgia, what was next? Georgia. 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 Louisiana was next. Yeah, we should have put them in order. That would have made more sense. A little harder. That would have made get zero points unless they're in uh, succession order. Followed by order. Texas. <laughs> with the year. Texas, with the date. Another one, I said Texas. 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 Yeah, we so, that one. That was it for a little while. But then we had the inauguration of President Lincoln and the bombardment of Fort Sumter. And then President Lincoln called up troops. And then after President Lincoln called up troops, Virginia's Virginia down. followed. Virginia. Then Arkansas. 
Arkansas. Arkansas. I apologize <laughs> for my wrong thought. Then Tennessee. Oh. And then us, because we got bullied and we were surrounded. We had no choice. <laughs> and finally, North Carolina. She, she goes last. Oh, oh last. Kentucky. The, the, oh. Those are the no, only no, states that succeeded. No, I'm sorry about that. The government did have seats for two other states in their Congress because they recognized Missouri and Kentucky as part of the Confederacy, even though Missouri and Kentucky didn't actually succeed and wasn't recognized as a state in rebellion by the federal government. We got nine. Right. I feel sorry for North Carolina because stars. you guys didn't really have a choice. You would have been just overrun if you had been done polarized. It. Like it's our east, western border, northern border, and southern border. Yeah, you would. Yeah, didn't have choice. But we still have better roads in South Carolina. I just want to. Yeah, say. but then I just look at the at the politics of the state. And I don't feel sorry for it at all. Yeah, you guys are all hey, crazy. We, hey, we got more Medicaid expansions coming. Uh, we have it. Yeah, I saw that. No, we're getting it, and all you people from California moving over here, driving our house prices up. And oh, they, you know what? I've heard that argument that back every day that. for my entire adult life. Them Californians are coming in and ruining everything. Jeez, we're we're making, we're making we're making America great again. Well, <laughs> as, as always, if anybody's That's interested, right. the round is in the uh, document is in the chat. Thank you. Thank yeah. You. Yeah, I didn't man. think that Florida was a state yet, and I didn't think that Louisiana was a state yet at that I point. I didn't think Texas was a state. You know why they, call, you know why they call it a Louisiana was a state and had one of the federal government mints in it at the time. The you know why they call it a toothbrush instead of a teeth brush? Because it was invented in South Carolina. We're here every Thursday, folks. Every Thursday. <laughs> we make fun of South Carolina's roads. Because that's the joke. Once you cross, once you get down 95 or 85 into South Carolina, it's potholes all the way. All the way. It used to be beautiful. Yeah, Georgia, I've driven that. Georgia road it was just too. perfectly. I drove the Disney one. Georgia, Disney road actually Georgia South Carolina, North Carolina. It was just the most beautiful, beautiful road. The road. roads are horrible. So, in, in the interest of time, just raise your hand if you did not get a 10. I can't oh, see that. Yeah, I'm on stage. Yeah, people have the pleasure of saying okay, a 10. Two Canadians, oh my. Is that the nine? I think yeah. we're 15. Nine. Yes, we're, we're nine. <laughs> Good going, like, Virginia. They wanted to have that feeling of being in fourth place. And I'm glad we didn't put Maryland because I thought Maryland was south of the Mason Dixon. No, Maryland's north. We plead for more time. Nine. All righty. Okay, so that means I tried to cook dinner, but my board broiler broke. Ten. All done. All right. And then that would mean that we've got. We've got to go down to the the cougar people. Ten. Well done. And Stormy Daniels, did you? Are you the leader, Stormy? Did you run it to the rescue? Yeah. Ten. Yay! I tell you, Stormy Daniels for the win. Oh God, I hope she purposely. All, all I can say is, I hope nobody put West Virginia. No. <laughs> We did. We put West Virginia. Only a Canadian would do that. Robin put West Virginia. My team put West Virginia. Oh, almost had Yeah, it. yeah. I, I want to see. Why there is a West Virginia? Because I want to see Stormy Daniels go up to Trump, and they should allow him to do the. You know, they got him all there, and she should go up to him and go like that with his nose, like that. She should go. <laughs> oh, she should go visit him in prison and pick up no. the phone. No, no I want to see her go like that and sure. tweak his nose, or just like, go. Like oh, it's that. a conjugal visit. Ooh. <laughs> What's that? Is he got 1.5 million dollars in donations by lying about I'm going to get arrested Dude. on Wednesday. Yeah, I and just don't see why she didn't ask for more money. He's a con man. Right. Yeah. All right. And so anybody who gives him money deserves to lose their money. I I wouldn't say that. I because like we it. I would. <laughs> I I feel I feel for those people that continuously buy into it and can't see that they are. Being conned. And the more they give money, the harder it is. Nobody wants to admit money. they've been conned. Well, that's true. I that's know, why you throw money that's... after bad, good money after bad money. Stop talking yep. about my wife's family. Ooh. <laughs> hey, I'm I need people hard. next week. I need I people next week. Three of Kevin, if you want. <laughs> Thanks for telling me. Can't us. get anyone. I can do one. Too. Okay, come on, people. I got Rob, and then I have Kevin. one ready already. 
Are you to be here? All right. Yeah. Okay. Robin, okay. who else? I've got a I've got a bonus. Mike. Okay, Mike's got bonus. Who's looking for categories? Well, I did it today. Otherwise, I'd I volunteer. Me and Susan. Okay, I volunteer uh, my brother. Carl, I did you... bonus this week, but not a regular round. Right. Jane, are you saying yes? We're still moving. Oh, she's, that she's looks moving. like a wave off. Okay. I will be next week. Oh, she's gonna be singing. I know. Practicing Hi, with Alan. Good night, Alan. Good night, Alan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We could name that tune. Good job, team. Okay, I need one more. Dunning, you said you ain't got <laughs> nothing to do. No. Come on. Ron, Ron. Yeah, Ron. How, how come you haven't done one? All right. I'll, I'll do a famous, famous athletes uh, named Ben. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna do one on Luann. We already have a category of famous. Yeah, I'll, I'll do. I'll do one next week. Okay, Carl, Rob, out. Robin, Ron, and Mike. Woo! A lot Ooh. of room. And nobody named Kevin this week. Nope. Nope. Kevin but can wait. You guys can do a Kevin category. Kevin can wait. <laughs> I will put. I will oh, put. Um, <laughs> I, I saw the remake. I'm gonna put Gail down. For the following week, I know for sure we're going to put, well, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. So well, the two weeks from now, I'll do one if you want. Two weeks oh, yeah, now. yeah, Kevin. Okay, got it. Okay, sounds great. All right, All right you guys. Right. So I got to sign out now so I can start working on my category. So. <laughs> well, <laughs> week. Luann, I mean, just, you know, it's easy. Who are the Luan. characters? What Thank are the plots? Thank you, and yeah. Paul. It's the first time I was on a team with you. Oh, that's nice. Time. Yeah. So. Yeah, they they they're they're been here sometimes and not sometimes. So. Yeah. Good. Stay hanging around for a lot longer. Everybody. All right, everybody. I will Good catch night, you later. Yeah. Good night, all. Thank Good you. Night, everybody. Bye. Hopefully, I'll see you at various oh, things this weekend. Yeah, we won't be here next week, Susan. We already we know that we're okay. visiting my mom. <laughs> Oh, okay. So start working on your category. Okay, I will. <laughs> For a couple weeks from now.